Hello and welcome to HBFT Gaming. I'm HBFT and we are back again with Battletech Advanced 3062 version 15.3.1. That's right, we are back. And at the end of the last stream, we made it all the way to the southern tip of the inner sphere so we can get back into one last flashpoint. And then we were going to head back over to the Sanctuary Alliance and find ourselves something huge and glorious. But, unfortunately, I'm, well, I guess fortunately, we are in the Inner Sphere, and while we're here, we might as well take care of some unfinished business. That's right. Previously, we hit a bit of a fuzzy wall in terms of certain events, and now is the time to take a crack at it. Not just take a crack at it, but I mean, absolutely hammer it home. We're going to... Tonight is the night. Tonight is the night. Where we are, we've got at least a... 29% chance guaranteed to destroy it. So let's go in and zoom in on back and we'll take a look at what we're working with here. So as you can see, we are here in Goldra. Oh, hey, Tank. Thank you so much for the redemption. See, I got it right this time of the Neuro Helmet 2.0. I really appreciate it, man. Thank you very much. So let's go in and take a look. Right now we're in Goldra. It's a two and a half skull system. Seems rather innocuous, but if you do recall, certain events have planted themselves here that have been a thorn in the bunny league side so if we back it on out and we go in and take a look you're probably wondering hb you have six million c <laughs> that's right we have i'll explain that but if we go over to the mech uh, i guess the command center you will see that there's kringle's killers and there's bta's challenge so we are here to tackle bta's challenge first this is a bunch of special special mechs out there that are unique to Bloody Doves and his crew. So he's absolutely gonna hand us our butt unless we can keep them on the back foot. So we're hoping to take another crack at it. And if you take a look at the mech bay, you'll probably notice that we've got 6.3 million sea bills because we've been farming. That's right, we've been farming and apparently we've had so many, uh, we're all the way in mech bay two, by the way. If you look here, we've got the original, but all the way in mech bay two, we were actually able to get enough parts to put some things together, including the venerable excavator mech. Well, first of all, this is a beautiful, beautiful boy. Oh, I actually never noticed. If you go over to refit right now and we go over to view mech, take a look at this. It's actually got all this wear on the glass way up front. That is really cool. I never noticed that. And am I? It is. It's actually it looks like it's been used <laughs> either to deflect bullets or to, I guess, dig our enemy's graves. That's right. This is a grave digger. That's what it is. So as you can see, it's got a plethora of stuff on it. So we're about to get a ton of funds. You were probably thinking that we are poor, poor bunnies, but no, we've got ourselves this onion VA. Better yet, we've got a royal catapult. And I dare say that the royal catapult might just be better than the chassis that our uh, bunny is based off of so if you take a look at the mech bay right here you'll see that we have got the catapult s2 which is our bunny and if we go over to refit i believe it's got a special perk so right now we've got a fixed plus 20 percent jump distance perfect for the bunny but for life support there's nothing if we head on over to our royal catapult then you'll see that this one is basically the same as far as i can tell but it has a royal mech quirk so this is minus 12 heat sinking which i guess doesn't really help well, it helps a little bit for all of the heat generated by jumping, but overall, just a nice thing to have. So we might want to swap that out and everything else can just sort of collapse into it. I think this is, yeah, this is the periphery version of the Centurion. And then we got that Blackjack Omni. I believe this is the close range. Oh, no, it was a double binary laser. Dear God, that is that's ludicrous. So what we're going to do, we're just going to pull these guys down and then I'll keep the Royal Catapult and we'll be able to get all of the sweet, sweet sea bills because I have a feeling we're going to need them uh, after all. Yeah, R took. May we get to see the memorial wall? I just want to get up. to <laughs> Get up to date. You mean, uh, of course, of course, you can see the memorial wall because I will show you how incredible our memorial wall is. That's right. If we go over to the memorial wall, you'll see zero casualties heck yes isn't that incredible my goodness it's almost like we've gotten better <laughs> we'll go over to the store because we've got a bunch of chassis that we can sell off so look at this this is instant money we're gonna get them all it's gonna be incredible and oh my goodness are we going to approach that's right are we gonna approach eight 
figures. Oh my goodness, we're going to be so close. There it is. And right on the cusp of ultimate greatness, it's almost like we're just swimming and see this is like the richest the Bunny League has ever been. I know, I know. The bunnies are thinking, oh my goodness, this is incredible. The bunny man, he's learned so much. And I'd, I'd be like, I know. So let's go over to the command center because as a warm up, I don't know if I can actually, I don't remember actually if I can do a warm up mission or have to jump straight into BTA's challenge because I did happen to take a contract here so we could launch the contract. I think, I think I can jump into another one. So I'm actually going to go into repossession and hope that they don't charge us a billion C bills uh, just so just so that uh, we can pay. This action will break your contract. Your reputation will be ah oh, drat. Well, it looks like our warm up is the BTA's challenge, and that a thing. If you are unaware of what BTA's challenge is, this is actually spawned by an event with bloody doves. Well, with a Comstar acolyte that looks suspiciously like bloody doves. That's right. So it's not actually bloody doves. It's just sort of. Bloody Dove's light, right? With Bloody Dove's light. So we've got, remember, we're going up against a reinforced Comstar level two, piloted by some of their best pilots. Luckily, this is just for fun, and our damage will be repaired after the battle. We are counting on that, but it doesn't mean that they can repair death. So who wants to be first, right? This is the best chance for it. I'm curious, though, since we have so many C bills, I did notice in the store, if we do stop by the store, that they've got a long tom. That's right. We could buy multiple long toms. <laughs> we could have four on the field of battle. Wouldn't that be a thing? Damage may be covered, but bullets ain't free. Oh my goodness, that is a saying I gotta say. All right, so let's go into the command center. We'll test it out just like this. BTA's challenge. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, it says it'll break our... Wait, did we? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not what I'm trying to do. Can I? Oh, did I? <laughs> oh, no, I broke it. <laughs> well, we might as well warm up with repossession then. All right. Apparently it affected our employer's reputation. Whoops. I guess I was still selected on this. Oh, I forgot we have a Turkina. Bunnies, at the end of the last stream, we picked up a Turkina. I put it together. How could you? <laughs> How could you forget this? That's that's the real question here. Uh, I haven't done anything to this. This is completely stock. So if we take a look at it, here he is. We deliver... What? It says something. We deliver pain anywhere in the galaxy. Oh my god. Does it have a QR code? Even the clanners have QR codes. That's crazy. Delivered on time. Delivered on target. Oh my gosh. Pain. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is ridiculous. We deliver pain anywhere in the galaxy. And then it says pain delivered on time, delivered on target. Do they have any other sayings? Kind of reminds me of the Hornet. If you ever seen that egg on legs, that thing has sayings all over the place. Like, I wish that I could pilot an Irby or, or pilot an Atlas or something like that. Sounds like you're a mech free two day shipping. Heck yes, it's pretty good, isn't it? It looks pretty good. So right now it looks like we've got two clan Gauss rifles. This is the best part of it all. So much, so much of this mech is fixed. That is amazing. It's so much of it is fixed. Let's go in and slam in, I guess, at least the cockpit mod or something. Do we have a cockpit mod? Oh, here we go. We got an armored cockpit. Uh, we've got missiles. So we got to, well, we got range finder. We can get it. Oh my gosh, this thing's going to be kitted to the gills. Uh, sensors, anything like that. I think, you know what? I think this is just fine. I don't think there's anything else that we need to do. And then they've got this clan quirk. Ooh. So minus 30 melee accuracy. That makes sense. But all the rest are bonuses. Plus 10% walking distance. This big thing's going to need it. 0.1 sprinting multiplier. Plus 10% jump distance. Can it jump? Oh, it has three jump jets? Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. This thing can DFA. This can... It can DFA? <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. Okay. You know what? Maybe we'll just do away with this and we'll just go in like this. This seems fair. I like it. This isn't going to explode. So we'll pull this in. Maybe we'll get one in the head and just pull it off the arms and let's we'll go in like this one day out. Yeah, we'll get straight into the fight. We're going to go to repossession so we can test this thing out. Two and a half skull battle in the lowlands is going to be our very first foray, our warm up mission. And uh, let's see, we got swooping falcon. We pull that off. You can see how I've been farming horse skurs, Shrek PPCs. Let's pull that off. OK, so that means we can up ton some of these things. 
So we'll go grab that Turkina. That brings us to 835. I think we can go up to... I think I have it at 900 tons right now. Is that right? Let's get the Helepolis into the fight. We want to be judicious in the way that we engage here. And uh, we got Serve Cold. Serve Cold would be so good in the Helepolis. I think... I think this is good. I think this is fine. We'll go in just like this. Okay, everyone's in. I guess we'll swap out... We'll swap out Wily so we can get a little bit of experience. And we'll go two and a half Skull difficulty battle in the Lowlands. Will the Bunny League suffer any pilot losses? The target vehicles have been detected in this area, bunnies. Move up, make contact, and engage the targets. Keep an eye out for enemy mechs as well. Oh, man. Commander of the Bunny League, withdraw your forces at once before we come to blows. I mean, the only thing that they're going to do is they're going to wish that... Oh, is this them? Oh, is this the enemy? Oh, their butts are to us. <laughs> They're so screwed. Oh, heck yes. We'll tell you what. Let's give them a moment to respond. We're res reserving down to one. If they counter reserve, boy, are they silly. All right, here we go. They got to move. They're on initiative two. They've got a Lynx. They've got a quick draw. They got a Valkyrie. So the quick draws turn it around. He doesn't want his butt exposed. And he's trying to shoot at something that every single bunny has eight evasion. They've got incredible amounts of spawn protection. So let's go in and bait them out. They're hopefully all going to move on this phase. We've got double Valkyries, a Lynx, and of course a quick draw. The Lynx is beautiful. And ooh, it actually manages to connect. Very, very, very impressive considering the fact that we're moving at light speed, even though we're the fastest completely still bunnies on the, on the face of this planet. That's all I got to say. We got the first Valkyrie. LRM's away. We do have a little AMS coverage. None to the Ravagers. Ooh, to the butt. Okay. Trying to get Wily's butt. Choosing your salvage. I would hope so. I'm not too sure what I would want, though. I mean, they've got ER PPCs. I guess that's kind of cool. But they do have targets in the distance that we're going to have to get to very, very quickly. Yeah. I got an awesome Easter candy. Scored $80 worth for half price. I'm set for quite a while. Smarter shopping to combat inflation. Oh, heck yes, Cyber. High five, buddy. High five. That's awesome. And welcome, welcome, welcome. It's very good to see you. Hopefully you're having a lovely Thursday. Kung Fu, very good to see you. Welcome. Evening bunnies, indeed. And is that a clown? Oh, oh my gosh, it's a toucan. Wow, holy crap. I almost feel like I should have cereal right now. That's incredible. Okay, so what do we have moving in the distance here? I can hear them. I know that there were four Vs on the road, so we got to get there very quickly. First things first, we're going to have to pick up with our horse curse so we can actually get there in time. And if we can get a fast mover like the Chonky Hawk, well, faster movie mover over there, then ideally it would allow us to spot and smack them from a distance, right? So let's go in and get ourselves in. Commander. We want to get Pirate. Pirate on the pickup. We want to get the uh, the slow, close-range types. Well, we got the Durkina. The Albatross. Get the Albatross. There we go. And then we got Blue. Blue's our other horse curve. We're going to go in and pick up not our... Here we go. The Hope and a Dream. So we just got to cancel this. There we go. And then we'll go right back in. And we want to pick up that Hope and a Dream. So there we go. Both horse curves are now engaged. And now we can actually grab Passion in the Chonky Hawk. And off we go as soon as we've got a moment. Here we go. We'll get in nice and close. So, what is on the menu? Triple F Burgers, Crunch Hopes. Oh, hey, Crunch. Good to see you. Welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Uh, if you're joining us right now, we're currently still in our warm-up mission. Hopefully you're doing well on this lovely Thursday. We're going to be tackling the BTA's Challenge and Kringle's Killers today. All right. Ask a question is forward. We're coming it around. Actually, we should probably start with Sir. Uh, we'll get a shot on. Hopefully, we'll be able to connect. We got 92%. Send it. And good connect. Beautiful. Double Horsker action. Hey, Gray. Good to see you. Welcome. Hopefully you're doing well. Oh, we got HB. We got a Turkina. So, Bunnies, if you haven't seen it, if you're joining us right now, we do have a brand new mech that we're testing out. It is the Pain Deliverer itself. Uh, the Turkina. That's right. This is mostly a stock Turkina. And boy, is it... Um, it was very bright green. And it is no longer bright green. We'll go in and send our very first salvo at him. Good pings. Okay, that is pretty darn decent. Holy crap, that's crazy. That was 
Mrs. FOE was lamenting that this year's candy clearance deals, at least at Target, were mostly 30% off instead of 50. She figured the retailers were being stingy on the deals with inflation. I gotta say, the most impressive part, I wouldn't be surprised if you actually kept a spreadsheet. Did you keep a spreadsheet? <laughs> Tracking the year over year, uh, like, sales. Have I scored any kills yet? Hey, pirate, not yet. We actually just got started. You just picked up one of the bunnies to take them into combat. Hopefully you're doing well, yeah? All right, and shot out. Let's go in and hammer that quick draw. Not yet. First match and just deploy. That's right. That's right. There we go. That should be enough. And goodbye quick draw. And first blood to Shaw's. And we've been spreading it all around. Look at that. Crits to the engine. Bust that out. And we get ourselves a little bit of choice here. Uh, let's go in and hold for Data King. And to 90s, we've got our Dante. We'll go in and hammer this home. Walk it forward. Oops. Hello. And, okay, walk it to the side. We got AoE. We're going to switch over to Acid Rounds. Move that arrow after the acid. And we're hoping to connect on the links. Danger close. God, this is maybe a little much. All right. They connected. It's beautiful. I see you have a Halepolis. I love that thing. It's awesome. It is awesome. And the craziest thing is it actually came with the long tom. So that was like a two for onesies that I love. She's got the spreadsheet in her head. Mine, like a steel trap on shopping. All right. It sounds like Mrs. FOE and I have something in common. High five. <laughs> All right, Tank. Get in there. You're going to apply that pressure. And we've got an opportunity here. Looks like these guys are a little bit busted. So we're hoping to actually be able to get most of the shots on. Send it at the Valkyrie. Oh, that's probably a... Oh, that's probably a lot. Yep, that was a lot. And he's still shooting. That's right. No mercy from Tank Air. It doesn't matter if you're small. It doesn't matter if you're large. You get the same amount of firepower every time. Heck yes. All right. Good job. Hey, Crossbow. Good to see you. Welcome. If you're joining us right now, we're currently in the fight of our lives. Well, not quite. We're just warming up on this two and a half skull difficulty mission. Hopefully you're doing well, yeah? Uh, we'll just hold. Uh, should we shoot? Yeah, why not? We'll shoot here. Send a few heavy recoilless rifles their way. Just soften that guy up. Beautiful. Big SSB tournament. 30 plus players. That's like a norm now for you. Yeah, that's incredible, man. You're doing well. I can't believe you can manage that many uh, players at the same time. That's incredible. And it hasn't seemed to dip at all in recent memory, yeah? Congratulations, pirate. I said, so who we got right now? We got a Lynx. Is the Lynx trying to move? He's on six, so it's not the Lynx, it's the Valkyrie. We got one Valkyrie, we got one Lynx, and then we, of course, have our targets way in the distance. They all want a piece of Wily in that Ravager. This is the Marion and Gemini battle armor at 10 tons. And of course, you can only move one hex per turn. So we're really going to be relying on another Wait, bunny to take care of us. So let's go ahead and get on the move. We'll go, kind of give him a sideways. Whoops. Just a look. Can't really shoot because I messed that up. But that's okay. What does the winner get, pirate? Maybe they get points and they get to go to the next level. Doing good. I just got back from a dinner with my co-workers and my soon-to-be ex-boss. Oh, haven't seen any of them in person since the pandemic started X boss heck yes new job new job where's the battle armor VTOLs uh I don't have it here because we sort of monopolized the air with the mechs it's probably a good idea if we had a few you're right we'll send some SRMs though maybe we can play tipsy topsy here and just knock this guy into the ground there we go beautiful screw you gravity indeed and down he goes absolutely fantastic smack from blue dragon heck yes all for free. High five. All right. And all that's left now is just the one. We're actually going to reserve all the way down because it's going to give Tank Hair the opportunity to bully the little folk. That's right. Bullying the little folk is part of Tank's very favorite pastime. When I interviewed Tank to see if he'd be a fit for the Bunny League, I remember clearly on his Bunny CV, he said, I like bullying the little folk. I'm like, you know what? You and I are going to get along just fine. <laughs> So, gladly, I accepted Tank, and here he is, to this day, holding up to his word. He's a man of his word, a bunny of his word, of course. The Jerkina can haul a battle arm. That's right, I didn't remember. It's just, it seems like it would be so slow, right? 
cash prize plus moving up in the rankings. That a cash prize is awesome, yeah? And rankings, always appreciated. Yep, that totally sounds like... <laughs> Heck yes! I don't even know if Hank's around to refute it. <laughs> Maybe he stepped away. Boss is leaving. Her job was deemed redundant. She's not upset. Okay. Well, good for her. Good for her. I mean, it's it's always... It's tough because when you get... I've definitely been in... I've definitely been laid off before. And that's rough because, uh, you know, you're sometimes wondering, was it my fault or not? And, and if, especially if it wasn't, you're kind of like, hmm, I don't know how I feel about this. But if you put yourself... If you've been trained to put yourself in the mind of the just the company or see the situation from different sides, it, it tends to work out pretty well, yeah. I'm gonna start sending you guys bad alcohol, like salted caramel whiskey. Ooh, that could be interesting. I'll take it. The girlfriend loves that salted caramel whiskey. My goodness, seriously? I've never tried that. Every boss I've ever had. Oh my. All right, so we got Commander. Tank Hair here. Now is the time. Tank is ready to bully the little folk. We're coming in. Uh, we're going to come in from the side with a physical weapon slice. And let's go in and give him a little love. Oh, that's a little premature. Oh, that's a good connect. And down he goes. There we go. Beautiful. So we cleared the very first support lance that was between us and our target. Oh, my God. Yep. Oh, yep. That's the way to do it. Yep. I remember the monster commercials from the OG.com boost. I want to claw my way up to middle men. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, monster.com? Is that different from like monster energy drink? Because let me tell you, monster energy drink. Oh my goodness. I, I'm not drinking that again. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Okay, we're moving forward. A lot of mine too. Overkill. Overkill is the best kind of kill I hear. So we're going to lock. So 50 to the left, 35 to the right. Lock the 35. On the approach. Boom, not boost. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes a little more sense. There we go. We got the shot. We're going to try and connect. Although, we could just... You know what? Fast cam augmented. I like it. We'll go ahead and send it. Hopefully connecting. Good ping there. And we're going to pepper over the field with a little bit augmented fast cam. The monster was indeed before indeed was indeed. Oh, my. All right, sir. It's got that Helepolis. I'm there. And we got the shot. And go. Oh my goodness. Wow, he survived that. How much does he have? He can't have that much, right? He's got single digit. So the Bunny League curse for sure. He's got oh, seven structure out there. So we're on the move. Actually, we're going to stay a little bit closer so that we can pick up our good friend Wiley and we're going to try and give him a double ping I guess we'll just send the uh, send the LRMs here probably too much oh it was just right it was just right so that guy's down and that was actually part of the main enemy V's I didn't realize I thought they'd be long gone by now that's incredible oh they're not actually trying to leave <laughs> It's not like an ambush convoy. What was I thinking? They're here to fight and they're here to stay. That's what I like to see. So let's go in and hold. We got Antonides on hold. And I think that's it. We got our albatross on hold. All right, perfect. Here we go. All done. They live. They live indeed. It was a job site and Super Bowl commercials had some gems. I want to grow up to be underappreciated. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> More like they're here to be salvaged. That's true. If we can be gentle. I think the hardest part is being gentle. Fortunately, it seems like the enemy likes to walk through explosive fields for fun as a national pastime. We've got the Drillson coming on in. Looks like he's taking a little bit of damage already. He's missing an SRM too, missing a machine gun. He's only got that large, large laser and an LRM. Kind of reminds me of a sort of neutered griffin, if that's even a thing. Long gone. Long Tom. Or Long Tom. Long gone. That's right. Eridani Light Horse should be good loot. Seriously? I don't know. They seem like they had ER PPCs and rather light things thus far. It should be pretty interesting. Oh, we have a mech. We've got a mech on the field. Never mind. I stand corrected. This is beautiful. We got a 50 tonner out here. Good medium. I don't see any jumping happening, so it hasn't really revealed anything yet. Glances at three large bags of M&Ms. Well, you did make out like a total bandit. You mentioned that about Easter. That is always the best. When you get the discounts the very day after, It's it feels so good. Uh, what else do we have out here? 
Okay, well, they, they definitely want a piece of Wily. I should pro- Oh, that's not good. I should probably get Wily onto the Trakina. So he's not prime target number one. So here we go. We'll get him on there. Bring it over. Mount. So mount up on this guy. There we go. Beautiful. Heck yes. All right. So that Turkina is all set. Aye, aye. And let us move. So can we get in? We got Axe a question. No. Not going to charge for that little guy. We'll sprint on out. Forward. And we got the ping. So precise strike. We're going to try and connect with a laser carrier. That sounds devastating. Oh, how many lasers do they have? Oh, it's like having a... It's like having a disco back on wheels. Send a few pings here. I want that orange. There we go. There it is. There it is. How much does he have? He's got he's got 20. 20 structure left. Yeah. For later reference, HB, I put a link to the classic commercial in the Discord miscellaneous channel. I want to be replaced on a wheel. <laughs> this sounds horrible. What what are they advertising? What what kind of <laughs> what kind of horrible marketing is this? I don't, I don't know. Always happy to have more ablative armor. Oh, heck yes. I probably shouldn't have shot the long tom as well, but I tend to just shoot it off. No problem. We got that augmented fast cam in the field. Hopefully he's going to slow down that 50 tonner. And then we got the Helepolis. Oh, we're going to hold position, intensify firepower, and try and connect with the big boom right there. I probably didn't need intensify firepower when he already had a breach and 20 structure left, but... Uh, them. It's the breaks for the enemy. Monster still exists, I think. When you say monster, is that that's the uh, job search job search site? Okay, we're we're sprinting for a Turkina. We're going forward, shooting it off, no problem. May not have said <laughs> it just right. You know what? Or maybe it was the exact right thing to say. All right, Gauss rifles. Do we have enough to ping? Maybe not. There, there. Oh, oh, it's stacking. 41, 34. And he's much softer in the side. I can't quite catch it yet. Looks like we've got ourselves 27. We got 27 out here. We got a hope and a dream. We'll go in and send a double. Mm, should we? Sure. Why not? We'll go precise strike because I don't want to accidentally kill the bunnies. And we'll send a full salvo at something that has barely any armor left. No there we go. <laughs> because we can. That's right. Because we can. Onwards and upwards. Two salvageable parts out of that. Apparently, you don't have to be completely gentle. The enemy sometimes just decides to give it up. It's actually quite awesome. You know, I do feel grateful for the most part. We'll just get on forward. I don't know if we can lock from here. Uh, not quite there. We're a little too far away. That's okay. Yes, Commander. And let's go ahead and move yes, Pirate. Ooh, we can definitely scout ahead here. There we go. We got that line of sight on an SRM Inferno Carrier. Oh, my goodness. That's got to go. Uh, let's... <laughs> That's terrifying. It's literally Hades on on tracks. Work that. Man, this thing's going to go up in flames, though. Let me tell you. When we destroy this thing, it's going to be so many flames. All right. Precise strike. No, we'll get blue. Blue's on the move. Uh, let's go in and send it. Heck yes. There it is. Didn't even have to shoot off the albatross. That's fantastic. We can save our MRM 50 for one more turn. We got cash in moving forward in the black, the uh, chonky black hawk. Full sprint. Oh, we got that line. There we go. There it is. What do we got here? 50 tonner, an Uziel. Okay, so they don't have to worry about all of these augmented fast cam. They can pop pretty darn well. So we'll go battle lord, hoping to actually connect with this guy. Explosives, sure. These are all the special rounds from the Sanctuary Alliance. It's a devastating amount of firepower in such a small package. He's already got. He's torn open in the middle, a bit of a donut here. And then we get crunch in the and hold. Last money in the air. Okay, so full reserve down. We're gonna let them have the opportunity to move. This is his only chance to clear that stability damage. There we go. So it's a jump and probably a brace if he wants to clear it. He did pull out a line of sight, so good for him, but it's not gonna last very long. We've got flyers, he can't run from the bunnies. A head hit. Did we now? I didn't even see that. 55 ton V in on the no evasion albatross and its pal the horsker wings that's right we've got these wings turning us into propeller angels that's kind of a cool one propeller angel kind of like that so how many are left we've got basically one mech one mech on the field that 50 tonner out there 
and then we've got two more v's so we've got two more v's so three more on the field looking super super clean as long as they don't get lucky 80 ton oh no 80 tons a lot oh okay that's that's a decent amount that's 60 streak lrms with additional firepower to back it up okay so let's go ahead and move we're getting super close we'll get on in lock that up we can see both which is great all right so how much evasion do they have not much not really much we got a varger lrm we got a partisan let's go ahead and work that Varger because it's right underneath us i don't think we're gonna want to be hitting that with any kind of long toms at all even with a shape charge especially with a shape charge because if we miss if we miss and we <laughs> and we hit ourselves it will be game over for sure here we go let's go in and spot both sides these are all of the remaining enemies this guy's got two evasion we'll go in and lock that down so that we can hit that with the long toms we do have two i believe yeah speaking of long toms let's go in and switch on over to serve serve's got what it takes precise strike oh they've got more never mind i stand corrected it looks like we've got two mechs left on the field How much has he got? He has 58. He's got 58 out there. Why am I in a copy? All right, then let's walk it over to the side. So it looks like we've got four on the field right now. We're going to try to connect with this guy with the gas rifles. Oof. I, I, I would have punched out a long time ago. But he has nerves of steel. So in that case, let's go ahead and follow up that steel with a little more steel. We're going to switch off and we're coming in with normal LRMs to finish the job. Stack on 23, 15, 13, 10, and there it is. And the Uziel is down. We've got one mech on the field and two Vs left. Heck yes. And yes, we are still on the same mission, Pirate. Ask a question on the move. Get in closer. I'm going to start working down the uh, Varger. We'll use Vigilance to protect us just a little bit. Going to start pinging that Varger. Oh, we're running hot. Whoops, that was a mistake. Hopefully we don't die a horrible death. Oh, thank God. We've had things, let's just say, explode catastrophically before when I've made that similar mistake. So let's, let's not let that happen, yeah? I wouldn't want Tank to die yet. All right, so let's go and move forward. We've got the, uh, the Varger APC. The explosives i'm actually going to switch in half and half and send it it's going to leave us with two i heard <laughs> love you tay <laughs> and we got crunch work it work it here we go battle lord that's the great thing this is 450 points of potential but it's going to be another 10 percent stack it straight to the partisan michael stackpole is the term hey pirate knight of clan wolverine what <laughs> All right, there we go. Clear the field. We got one and one now. One V, one mech. One V, one mech. Not too sure what the mech is in the distance, but we know we're dealing with an LRM machine in front of us for the next few seconds. So we'll break here. And the Dante Bunny. Let's see. Can we be accurate with this? Hopefully. Can we be accurate with an Arrow 4? You know what? It's fine. Collateral damage is just kind of a thing. That's why we have armor. Yeah, we're totally fine. Yep, see, we're still fine. No worries, no worries at all. I do not clam the no name clan. Oh, do not claim the no name clan. And the Ravager was left behind. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, we're still on the, on the Turkina. That's perfectly fine. Now we got our horse skirt. So let's come it around the backside. Give him a little bit of joy. And send that ping. Probably should have stayed on the same now that I think about it. We kind of tore through most of the armor. I have signed copies of Wasteland 2, Star Trek 25th Anniversary, and Star Trek Judgment Rights by... Oh, heck yes! That's awesome! I would, like, cover them up with... I don't know, I'd get a display case or something. That sounds awesome. That's like if I got my Wing Commander 3 Collector's Tin signed by Chris Roberts or something. Okay, where are we at? Critical hit, we've got... Is that single? We've got 14 structure. All that is is a couple of missiles or something. Let's go and embrace here. All right. Cash in. I mean, it's... It's totally fine. Oh, should we? 
I don't think we can. Oh, I thought that was a DFA. I don't. Yeah, we're not close enough for a DFA. That's totally okay. In we go. And we'll just send the rest of what we got. We'll switch over here. There it is. Beautiful. So we got one left now. I will tweet you a copy of my special display shells later. Oh, all right. That sounds baller. Did you did you have to go and source them yourselves and sort of like design the layout and everything like that? Oh, we got a Helios. Looked alarmingly like a Warhammer of some kind. And this is the very last Eridani light horse on the field. The last of their support. Oh, man. Turkinum pushing on forward. We got Precise Strike armed with a Gauss Rifle. Hoping to ping. Pretty good chance. Come on, people. Let's make it happen. To the leg. To the torso. So we got a weak side now. Let's go ahead and exploit that. That guy also has a Gauss Rifle. Yes, come on. So we'll get the shot. We're actually going to go in with a Shape Charge on this one. And send it. Firing all weapons. And goodbye, time. Gauss Rifle. Heck yes. We are the only ones, the only bunnies on the field with Gauss Rifles. We are a bit competitive. We have the Pile Driver. And we'll switch on over to Shape Charge. Heck yes. And we got a few to the middle. 14 and enemy down. Beautiful. Just like that. Super, super clean. You certainly sent them a message, bunnies. All right, bunnies, total win, total win. Will the Bunny League suffer any pilot losses? That is a resounding no. Congratulations to those who had the faith. So now that we're feeling a little bit warmed up, I think we are ready to take on the BTA challenge. We just got to make sure that we apply any points, do a little repair, and then in we go. You got any of the MS's Battletech books? I don't, I don't, but I'm pretty sure the bunnies do somewhere, yeah? Shame you can't drop a mech or a tank on them instead of tank. It would be tank here. I guess... So we got our Lynx, Drills and Hover Tank. We can put together a Quick Draw. We can put together an Uziel. That might be kind of cool. So we got ER Medium Lasers, regular LRMs, four Streak LRM-15s all in one go. That's terrifying. We got double Advanced Targeting Computers. That's awesome for the Breaching Shot and the ability to hit the head. And then we've got SRM Inferno Streak LRM Ammunition. Oh my gosh. This is like a all-inclusive thing. I kind of feel like... Honestly, I want the Uziel out of all things, so because it's a jumper. So I'm going to grab that, and we're just going to hope for the best here, yeah? So three, two, and one. We got the we got a Drillson part, fantastic, a Lynx part, LRMs, medium laser. We got the targeting computers, and we've got a little bit extra. Not too shabby at all. We're close to 10 million Seabills bunnies. That's... That's like uh, probably a new record for BTA. We'll double check the barracks for any experience to apply. We got blue, we got Cashin. Cashin getting that nice eight, even though he doesn't really go to melee. Uh, we've got Gramps, Pirate, Served Cold, and Wily, who was in the battle armor. So looks like we don't have anything. Let's go into the command center and let's finish this up, yeah? BTA's challenge indeed. I would also not bring the VTOLs. Oh, because they'll get hammered in the air. I mean, it would, yeah, I guess so. That's probably smart. Maybe we should bring more LRM carriers then. Should we? What Vs do we have, actually? We've got VTOLs. We've got LRM carrier, Shrek PPC. We got a Demolisher. Demolisher, Shrek PPC. I don't know how good those are going to be. I'm actually going to go to the store and pick up. I think we've got another LRM Mark II. We've also got a Long Tom. And it's only 95. <laughs> it's only 95. We'll grab another one of these. How about that? There we go. Be cheap about it, yeah? There we go. PPC might be okay, but then we've got to be in line of sight. And I don't want to be in line of sight of bloody doves. That's all I got to say. Kringle's Killers. Oh, I guess we got to do Kringle's Killers. Oh! Okay, this is terrifying. It will break your current contract. Will it now? Do we still have the contract? We do have the contract. Okay, launch the contract. Here we go. Which demolisher is that? It's the one with the double AC-20, so you've got to be super close, yeah? Let's go ahead and clear this out. There it is. Was that another VTOL tank carrier? Probably. Probably. We are in a uh, Goldra, and I believe they've got a factory or something like that, yeah? So, Berserker is going to be pretty decent, I think. We want the Long Toms in play, so we got to get the Helepolis as well. 
Uh, Turquina. Turquina was actually pretty decent. I don't know if it's got the staying power for this fight, so we'll just hold off on it for a second. The Albatross is very, very powerful, but it's not fast. That's the tough part. It's just not fast. So if we're not bringing a Horsker, we just don't have the speed to close the distance. So we'll get the LRM carriers in first. I know Amiel... Well, Amiel wants... To, we'll let Amiel do something else. We'll get... Uh, who's V only? We got Pirate. Pirate, you're going to be in an LRM carrier. <laughs> I hope you don't mind, buddy. And then do we have another V only? There we go. Blue. It's going to be Pirate in blue here, yeah? If we want a sturdy tank with decent speed, the Manticore in the shop is good. Did they have one in the shop? Let's let's go in with this one and then remind me, remind me. I don't think we're going to be able to really do too much with our... Unless we've got extra tonnage to spare, right? So we've got the Warhammer, get the Avatar. Avatar would be great with all the missiles. Uh, the Awesome has staying power in the form of three improved binary lasers. We're in a polar biome, so that would work pretty well. Tarkina's long range. The Dante. Dante would be pretty nice to overheat. It does have a lot of Inferno. And right now we're at 640 tons. Uh, Dragonfire, the Catapult, the Warhammer, the Hope and a Dream. I think this is our, yep, it's our double D back 20. So you got to be kind of close. The Turkina was pretty decent. I just don't know if 12 salvos is going to be enough. If anything, it could just sort of carry someone into the field. Uh, I think the Albatross is going to have to be it. We got the Hope and a Dream that brings us to 820. We still have more. We still have more here, so mm, the Horsker. I really want to bring the Horsker, but I'm not going to. The Demolisher, will they ever be close enough? We don't have a ton. We've got 816 armor. I feel like the Shrek PPC is super squishy. So I guess we'll bring the Demolisher. All right, we're bringing the Demolisher. We're at 900 tons flat right there, yeah? Okay, so Amul likes, likes main battle tanks. You can be in that. Uh, we got Hope and a Dream. Uh, that's close range. Definitely want to move that a little bit sooner so that we can get some type of breach or something like that. So we'll get HP into that. Uh, we need another Master Attack for the Albatross because we're going to be kind of mid close range. So Antonides. There we go. Those are two Master Attacks. And then we got five. Okay, so Serve Cold does have Intensify Firepower. I don't know if it necessarily helps with the Long Tom here, uh, but we can definitely try. We got Tank. Uh, we'll switch him over to the Olympolis. For the Avatar that's indirect, we got Crunch. We want to be aiming, so we'll get uh, Crunch in the Awesome. He does have access to Stone Cold. That's going to be huge. We got Cashin. Cashin tends to run kind of hot. We'll get him in the Dante Bunny, just in case. And then we got two more here. So indirect. We got a passive. We got Data King. We'll get Data King into the Avatar, and then we're going to get... Wily, just so they can get a little bit of experience. There we go. Because you can always use the uh, ad the target prediction for the whole crew. So here we are. Four and a half skull battle in a polar biome. The BTA team is somewhere around here, buddies. Acquire their location and engage. Let's show them what we can do. Oh, this is a totally new area. This is awesome. I like this map a lot better. Buddies, visibility is poor in the fog and darkness, but sensors aren't having any trouble with it. Good luck out there. All right, so let's see what we're dealing with. Can we see them from here? Nope, they're right there. But you know what is nice about this? There's He's got the King Crab Bloody Doves. The nice thing is AoE. That's right. If we can hit this with a fast cam early on, that's going to be huge for us. LRMs, LRMs, let's go ahead and hold for a moment. I want to be able to get in on it. we got to hope and a dream will hold again. Who's up next? Let them stay there. We're going to target the ground anyway, right? So we'll reserve again. Come on. Come on. Just fall for it. Bloody doves, fall for it. You're such a smart guy. Just just, just fall for it for once. All right. We got our Helepolis. That's not quite it. We need to get to initiative two with them counter-reserving. That's what we want. One more. One more. Come on. Don't move. Don't move. Yes. Okay. So now we're talking. We got Wily out here. Inferno not going to help as much. Shape Charge not going to help. So we're going to come in with the augmented fast cam and the high explosives. We're going to target that ground and give them a little bunny love. I don't know. We'll find out where we hit based off the augmented fast cam. And hey, Chang, good to see you. Oh, heck. <laughs> oh, 
We definitely pinged him. We definitely pinged him. You gotta love that. That means we're gonna go in and get tank tanks on the move. Uh, we'll push it on up. Seven evasion. That is ridiculous for such a large boy. And uh, let's hold. So we got serve cold. Serve cold could follow that up, especially with shape charge. We got avatar. Well, the nice thing is, I think we've got. We do have augmented fast cam. We can target the ground again. Uh, we'll kind of make a blanket out here on this side there. I probably shouldn't have shot with the VRMs. I didn't mean to do that. Dead center. The big mech has MASC. Oh, heck yes. Okay, so what do we got here? And then, of course, we can move because Data King 1 is the only bunny with Ace Pilot. He's got to move. And we got Surf Hold. We got our Awesome. So the problem with the Awesome, we're going to have to climb. We are on the right side here, so let's get into the tree line as soon as possible. Because we've got some flankers on our right this time. And we'll hold. We've got Passion in the Dante Bunny. Oh, are we stuck? Oh, no. Okay, so it looks like... It looks like... Oh, no, it's the LRM carrier. Oh, it's the LRM carrier. Okay, we may have to do careful maneuvering. Let's hold Helepolis, Dante, Albatross. Albatross can move. Albatross is going. Arrow bunny, ain't that a thing? All right, sensor lock. We got a target. We got a 30. 100 tonner. Let's go ahead and tag Bloody Doves up there. It's got eight evasion despite... Oh, that's right, because we can't actually do anything to him with the lock. So let's go ahead and reserve down to one. This is going to force some of them to move. We've got the 50 tonner on our right side. No joy yet. Oh, and he locks us. Oh, no. Did he lock our carrier? Oh, crap. Oh, no. He locked the albatross. Okay. He locked the albatross. Fair enough. Well, uh, serve cold can dish out a little bit of love. Let's come it on in. I mean, we could, we could ping these guys too, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and focus up here. We're going to target the ground because ain't no way we're going to be reliable when we're... Hopefully I don't destroy the fast cam. Nope, still good. Give him a little ping. How is he doing, King Crab? We got a... Oh! We got a Kit Fox on the right side. Kit Pup's probably pretty excited. Shot to Demolisher. I do not like being stuck out in the open in rough terrain where I cannot move without careful maneuvering. This is a bad drop. Hopefully we don't lose any bunnies. 60 tons. There's Bloody Doves with his double dual rotary Gauss rifles. Internal structure damage. Tank's fine. <laughs> Tank is fine. Taking six Gauss rifle blast to the chest is just a thing that makes him who he is. That's right. It, it wouldn't be a real fight for Tank unless he took some Gauss rifles, right? All right, there it is. All the heat. It's got the plasma cannons. They're all shooting at Tank. Here's here's the thing, though. The nice thing is we're in a no, polar no, biome, so that Marauder's not going to be as effective. So that's fantastic. Uh, we could... Oh, my goodness. Shielded stance just to try and buy us a little bit of time. And uh, I'm not even going to bother to move because I want shots on target. There we go. 63. Work the big guy. He's gone. Almost 1,700 armor. We'll just soften that guy up. We could probably shut him down if we actually focus with heat. Even though we're in a polar biome, we're kind of advantageous. Ugh, I don't like this at all. We've got 61 armor left in the front, and Amiel hasn't even gotten to move. I think I'd prefer going against Kringle's killers. Uh, let's go in and try and work the small guy. If we can wipe him out, it's going to be really, really helpful to removing some of the incoming firepower. But I don't know if we're going to be able to do it fast enough. Work that. He's got a breach, though. We just need one more salvo on that guy. We got HP. Oh, man. In the hope and a dream. You got me. Uh, unfortunately not, so we'll hold one. We do have the D-back 20s. Right here, 50. Commander. One crit already. Just need two more. <laughs> oh, God. Wait. All right, hold one gone? more. Hopefully we don't Is lose a bunny one? right away. All right, Amiel's up. Amiel's up. He's in the demolisher. He has a chance to take a shot. Let's go in and rotate to our side. Actually, we'll rotate our butt. There we go. We'll give him the butt. And uh, we'll try and connect. It's a long shot. Oh! Oh, 
All right, not too bad, Amiel. All right, well, you clipped that guy's wings. 60 ton inbound. We got, ah, the Valkyrie too with a mace. Double plasma. Come on, hit that left. Oh, no, not good, not good. We got five. We got five on the left. Amiel's be angry. Yep, oh, okay. That's not good. Uh, what are we going to do? Well, I can't really attack this turn. There we go, there we go. We got Antonides. Let's go in and give him another target to shoot at. We're getting right into the thick of things with the Albatross. All in, all in. We can work this 22, five. We can work up here. Shooting uphill is gonna be horrible, 11%. Let's just go ahead and try and ping that Kit Fox a little. Stack 50 MRMs and five medium electro lasers. Can't connect, but we open up the middle a little bit. That's a thing. Timberwolf with all the LRMs, but we are in cover. Oh my, that is that is a lot of LRMs. Holy crap. Was that something like 90? How much did he have? I didn't even see, yeah? So here he is, the Timberwolf with... Oh, okay, so he's got five times over. So we're looking at 75. That's, that's still a lot. Holy crap, that's a lot. Okay, pull it up. We're not going to intensify firepower on this one, but I would like to try and wipe some of these guys off the field. He's got the double plasma cannon. He's got all the missiles. I'm actually going to go in with shape charge and hope that we're going to connect and do some damage. All right, ping the leg. We'll take it. I wonder what if a Warhammer had a Thor. So <laughs> oh boy. Come on, tank. Yep, tank's fine. Look at that. Resist injury because he's in the safest place on the battlefield. Oh, we got Data King. Tuck up with that avatar. I know we're kind of exposing ourselves to direct line of sight, which is a big no-no, but uh, I kind of want to... Oof, maybe we need to finish the target. Okay, finish the target it is. And she's away. We'll give him a little fast cam as well for his buddies. There it is. All right, Kit, the Kit Fox is down. Where's your AMS system? Oh, uh, we have some. We have some. It's just not that many. We don't have a ton of them. All right, what do we got here? Hope and a dream. No shots here yet, so we'll just move forward and try and lock. I want to try and wipe out the reinforcements below. We got four. We'll go in and try and ping the timber. And hold. All right, what do we got? We got our awesome. This has the improved binary lasers. That's going to be huge for us. We'll just walk on forward. Uh, Battle Lord's going to increase our heat output, but you know what? Can I make it with split? It's going to give us multiple chances to hit. It's going to do less damage, but we get two pings. There we go. We'll take it. We'll take anything at this point. We just need to get some breaches here and there. All right, so tank is up. He can make it happen. He's got the Corsair with the lack, the Gauss rifle. Okay, okay, okay. All right, in we go. We're going to use defensive formations. Going to give him a flat 20% damage mitigation here. It's going to be huge. Oh, we got 33. You've got a better chance up here. Send a full set. This guy can't take it. Heck yes. Look at that. That's that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. It's going to make it really hard on him, King Crab. Oh, boy. Oh, yep. That's a thing. We're, we're okay. We're okay. Everything's fine. Any contracts that you can use? Are you talking about like the, uh, the drops, like the turret drops and stuff like that? At the moment, no. No, but... Uh, doesn't doesn't mean that we can't uh, we can't try a few things. Go and try and ping that Timberwolf. I want to come in with that shape charge, and I actually want to hit with normal shots on the follow up, and send it. Good connect. Come on, nail the legs. 27, 24, 21, 14, and there it is. Beautiful. The leg is out and down he goes. His other leg is, leg is pretty busted at 56. That is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. We can take that out. Ooh, if we can take that guy out, that might you. safeguard. It might safeguard our good pal, Amiel. But I really want to heat this. <laughs> I really want to heat up Bloody Dove, uh, but we really need to finish what we started. We're actually going to come in. We've got the acid. We've got regular damage here. We're going to target that leg and send. Welcome. It's got a little bit of AOE. It should splash over just a little bit. Heck yes. All right, so 75 clan LRMs off the field. That is huge. Not salvageable. That's fine. That is fantastic. That is super great. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and keep focusing. We have a Hunchy 2C with a Hag 40. Holy crap. I forgot about that. 
Uh, let's go in and ping that the heck out of that guy. That is terrifying. I wish I could get a Hag 40. A clan Hag 40. That's amazing. So how much has he got? He, he can't have much armor. He's only got 90. So now he's got 57. We've got another carrier. We haven't moved at all. This guy's got 6 evasion. Ping it, pirate. Ping it. We're just trying to draw as much fire as possible while our Vs stand straight out in the open, in the clear, no cover at all. Oh, man. And the hope and a dream on the follow-up. Here we go. Finally in view. We got that D-back 20. 92% on one of them. 74 with a Corsair. Yeah, we'll take those. We'll take those odds. And we could, oh, double up on the Marauder. Sure, we'll do that. No. Those are some solid hits. Every single one of the shots connected. That's glorious. Hang in that right side. Absolutely just whittling away everything. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, bunnies, cross your fingers for Amiel, the first bunny taken off of the field. We got Antonides. He's got to clear that stability damage and hopefully dish out the juice. We'll go in with a nice swing and a kick. Hopefully clearing that leg. Good connect. Now we got guns, guns, guns. There we go. Both legs exposed. Beautiful. 44, 66. Looking pretty strong. Not quite at stability threshold yet. No scream. I'm safe. Heck yes. That's the confidence we like to see. There's that hunchy with a hag. 40. He's going to go ahead and take a shot, take a salvo before it's all over. Oh, jeez, Louise. Holy crap. I think the IRS must love a battalion of awesomes to take care of us. Helipolis away, so intensify firepower. Oh, that's not going to help us any. That's okay, that's okay. Uh, we got the shape charge. 69% on... No, we want to focus, so we're going to focus on the Marauder. 56%, we'll try it. Actually, we'll come in high explosive. Good connect. Good connect. What do we got here? He's at 42. If you can, find him. Does he count as lost? That's only if he ejects, yeah? If he ejects, then you have to worry about that search and rescue that we did. That was terrifying. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Is he going to fall? Oh, wow. That brought us to full immediately. That's not good. We'll stay indirect here. Come on, Data King. Work the Valkyrie. Not fast cam. Artemis it is. We're going full damage on this. Hopefully tagging those legs, breaching the top. Anything. 16. Legs untouched for the most part. It forgot to scream, I bet. Congratulations to those that did not have the faith. Well, this is if we're going to suffer any pilot losses, so we still have to find out. We'll see. You do know that the Valkyrie 2 has a melee weapon. That's right, and I hope he tries to use it. <laughs> Oh, yes. I mean, not that it really matters thus far. This is as much heat as we generated with the triple improved binary lasers. So the awesome is going to close that gap. There we go. We're going to switch over to linked mode. We're coming on in. We got precise strike 25, 69. And the king crab. Well, you know what? Sometimes you got to adjust for kicks. It's straight to the head. Set him a nice ping. Soften up bloody doves right there. Ping his arm. We'll take it. How bad can search and rescue be? I mean, it only took hamster hours to complete one. No, that's the truth. It is the truth. Those are absolutely terrifying volumes of enemy. Uh, it took us... We ended up going along on that. Did Bloody Doves overheat? Bunnies. Free called shots. <laughs> Free called shots. All right. That's what we're talking about. Vigilance to clear the stability damage. Tank makes it out. This is incredible. We're coming on in. Can we go can we go forward? No, we're going for this one here. All right, fair enough. In with a physical weapon. This is what we're talking about. Let's do it up. Come on, tank. There's gonna be tanks. Very first strike of this fight going in the Corsair did him dirty, and it is time for payback. In on the charge, on the swing. Let's go nuke this guy. We got that axe. Berserker forward on the Corsair. The clan Gauss rifle. He's loaded to the brim with weaponry. Give him a nice ping. There we go. Open up that arm. 39 structure on that side and follow with the guns. Work that. 12. And bye-bye Gauss rifle. Goodbye clan goodness. And here's the follow. We get the pile driver. We're actually going to use target prediction to improve our chances for this turn to connect. We've got that shot. We're going to go and try and connect. 
shape charge straight to the head sometimes you gotta adjust for kicks it straight to the head of bloody doves this is bloody doves plan isn't it this is bloody doves plan he knows that his allies are in trouble so he's trying to tempt the bunnies and it's working all right we got precise strike with the dante bunny let's go in and hammer this guy home sometimes you gotta adjust for kicks it straight to the head he's playing possum that's right good possum bloody do it up do it up stack that Okay, so he's got openings on both sides. Oh, and the turn is ticked over now. So LRM's away. Do we do it? Do we try and clear? We got to work that. We got to work that, Hunchy. Come on, pop that, pop that. Come on, open that up. Open that. He's got eight. He's got three. There's got breach. There's a breach. 39, 31. Egg, yes! All right, the Hag 40 is off of the field. We got a double plasma cannon down below, but that is it. I think the Albatross can handle it. No worries at all. So Pirate is focused. And on a mission, sometimes you got to adjust for kicks. It's straight ahead. Full send. Full send of 60. Shot. We just need, need a couple of things. A work side. Work side. 40. And get! And Bloody Doves is down. His sacrifice shall not be forgotten. We've got four left on the field. Four left. All right. Beautiful. HP with a hope and a dream. All right. Work it over. We're going to clear that mace. Clear the mace. With a double ping. Send. And shot. I've got a single plasma rifle now. Heck yes. All right. Pop, pop, pop. Hot. And a whiff. Raise the heat a little bit, but we're good. Give him the swing. Kick. Work it. Oh, and a whiff. That's okay. That's okay. We still got guns. And guns. 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 Heck. Beautiful. So all that is left is to claim the title on the hill. That's it. That's it. They've only got a few up there. They got three. Are we cataphract above? It's these three against all the rest of the Bunny League. Big hits on the Albatross. You got Bloody Doves. Yes, you did. If Bloody Doves looks in, you can apologize to, to him for making him go pop. Add the kill mark to my VTOL tanker V. Heck yes. All right. Precise strike. We got that Marauder. We're going to work it. Do we want to overheat him? Why the heck not? Why not? Just for fun. Send a love. Direct connect. A little bit of heat. D ace now. All right. Beautiful. We got Data King in the avatar. Push it on up. We've got direct. We got that Artemis 4. Billy Bigelow, thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the Bunny League. It's very good to have you with us, man. At 30. Here we go. Full scent. Like a hero. In three, two, one. And one. We want to get that breach. Get that breach. Hey, 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 Billy. Stack. All right. Breach on the right. Breach on the right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Come on. Push that and push that. All right. Tanks up. In on the swing. Give him the love. Second round. Round two. Round two. And the ping. And a whiff. Holy crap. He dodged the venerable tank hair. And guns. Come on, come on, come on. But did he really? Did he really dodge, though? Awesome forward. Got the Marauder. We'll work the Marauder. Work the Marauder. Full send. All three. Three for three. Good connect. And a ping to the head. Holy crap. Bunnies are on. Shape charge. Sometimes he got to adjust for kicks it straight to the Corsair's head. Oh. Oh. Get out of there. <laughs> Rode in with the raid. Yeah, nice to meet you. You seem to have this game figured out pretty good. Oh, you're very sweet, man. And I didn't even... Did I totally miss a raid? Oh my gosh, I feel horrible. Nerd. <laughs> High five. All right, you're in the right place then. Sometimes you got to adjust for kicks. It straight ahead. Stack this. Come on, come on, come on. Work this guy. Work this guy. He's got 22. I mean, he is so close to toppling. Just get out of there. Get out of there. You don't want a piece. All right, on the work. Precise. Who's got an opening? I think I think they both do. So we'll just go in and get the stability damage on par. And push. Push that last bar. Push that last bar. That's 60. Come on, stack that. Stack that. There it is. And a knockdown. Absolutely fantastic. He's going to push down to initiative three. He doesn't have a chance. It's going to be free called shots from every single bunny from here to Timbuktu. 
We got pirate, pirate on the move. Let's go in and stack it. We're gonna go in and hit the next to Ken. Working the left side as the last arm that he's got. And the only arm is gone. Now we basically a stick on legs, a single medium pulse to his name and tank hair right in front. All right, hope and a dream. We can do the double tap, get a free called shot, work the center. All right, down. <laughs> so we got a stick right now and a full cataphract up above. That is not too shabby. And every time he moves, he's gonna be working that leg. Hey, wait, look at that. He's already lost about half of his armor just by waddling towards the bunnies. Our left slide is looking a little bit tossed. We can go rotate like a rotisserie and bring the love. So we're actually gonna, actually it doesn't even matter, but we'll bring that to the right. Precise strike, send a ping. Full send. I was on 71, 68. And down to... Oh, down to 26. A solid, solid salvo. We're going to work the same. Here we go. Not going for heat. We're going for that shape charge. We're counting, rolling the dice. And good connect. And the left side is down. Okay, so right now we've basically got a stick with a medium yeah. pulse and half of a cataphract. So just a cata. Moving so out. between the two of them, we got a catasair. So let's go work the remainder. Full send. I mean, you're not going to stand up to this. You've got nothing in the middle. Nothing in the middle. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Pop, pop, pop. Reporting critical hit. And he's still standing. That's terrifying. Holy crap. Too bad Phil suck at it. I like this game. Heck yes. We love this game too. Shape charges are nasty, but fun when you watch them drop on and hit the head. That is that is the truth, yeah? All right, we've got crunch. Tuck it on up. Tuck it on up. You've got what it takes. We're kind of pushing the limits of our heat right now. So we'll drop one and we'll just go straight to core. Pop it. And we got one last one. We got one last one on the field. That means tanks up next. He missed on one. Give him the swing. Give him the axe. Last strike. Oh my goodness. And he dodges, but guns, guns, guns. Work this guy tank. Work this guy straight from the rear. And he's holding barely, barely, but surely. All right, Wiley's up. Should we take a risk? <laughs> Tank, should we take a risk? You can take it, right? High explosive, straight to the face. 50%. Are we going to catch it? Oh, no. That's wide. That's wide. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, I'm sure Tank's fine. Hobbits should stick till I, I die. I haunt you. <laughs> you can't run from me. My hatchet is faster. All right. You know, we got a lot of AOE. We got a lot of AOE here. Maybe, maybe you know what? You know what? I think it's better to play it safe and not hurt Tank. That's what we're going to do. So we're just... We're just going to hold here. All right. Beautiful. And let's go and bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Little by little. Little by little. Come on. Okay. So he's on the next one. So what do we got to play with here? Hope and a dream. Can we can we get in and charge? Can we do it? I don't think we're fast enough. All right. I don't want to accidentally hit tank with double D-backs. I think we'll be okay, though. Let's do it. Full send. <laughs> we did it. Yes, high five bunnies. That's what we're talking about. Oh, sure. Now you're caught. That's right. At the end, that's when it counts. That was quite a show, bunnies. Well done. All right, bunnies. Total win, total win. Will the bunny suffer any pilot losses? Let's flip it on over and we'll find out. Cross your fingers for Amiel, the hero in a demolisher, who's not in a, who's not in a demolisher right now. So let's just uh, cross your fingers. No S. We didn't hear a scream. There's a very good chance that Amiel is A-OK, -okay, completely fine, no worries at all. Am I worried? I'm not worried. Oh, please. Three, two, and one. Cycle. Oh, uninjured. Heck yes! That's what we're talking about. All right, bring it on over. Let's go in and see what we get. I don't even know... Can we loot anything from this? Pay for it. I think you get a crate. Oh, heck yes. I love crates. Hopefully it's a special. Oh, what kind of crate? Oh, wait, what? What? Wait, 
This is the bloody. This is the bloody doves king. A personalized design driven by the pilot call sign of bloody doves. The king crab BD is a highly customized king crab that exists to punish enemies merely for existing in the same battle zone as it does. The primary weapons are a pair of massive rotary gauss rifles, backing them up and providing incredible damage potential for a piercing large pulse laser and six piercing SRM tubes. A clan spec ECM gives protection while an advanced targeting computer provides accuracy for both gauss rifles. Holy crap! I was hoping to get a king crab one day. I didn't know it was going to be the one and only bloody doves king crab. That's terrifying. Is this is this random? Holy crap. I think we're going to have to hire Azekis. I guess mechs restored. As per the terms of the contract, our employer has repaired, replaced, and refitted our damaged and destroyed units. Our pilots are another story, however. Well, there it is. There she is. New ride for tank. Ain't that a thing? Hey, Cold. Good to see you. Thank you so much for the reason for 32 months. That's incredible. And thank you so much for the bits. If you're joining us right now, we just wrapped up the BTA challenge and we got ourselves a brand new mech in the form of, well, I guess we'll bring this over. The Bloody Doves King Crab. Holy crap, what does this thing have? I did not get my paid out for the bet. Oh, that's right. Well, the Bunny League suffer any pilot losses. Thank you so much for reminding me. That is a resounding no. Congratulations to those who had the fake. Heck yes. You're random out of all this mechs. You won the grand prize. That's terrifying. That's incredible. Take a look at this thing. Wow. That is the juice. My goodness. I was just curious if it had any, any like specific things on it. That's crazy. Does he spin? Oh, yes. <laughs> bloody is very dizzy all right let's go in and equip this all right so we got the rotary gauss rifles what's the thing with this yeah let's just run this as is for now oh heck yes i'm just curious what these are this gauss rifle is a uniquely clutched together one consisting of a trio of barrels that cycle when fired like the cylinder of a revolver this allows for up to three shots in one pull of the trigger though at fairly high risk of jamming the weapon's rotation mechanism due to its clunky innards Still, this is so-called rotary gauss rifle is capable of incredible damage when the stars align and it works properly. Well, strange to have the ammo in the head. TTS ballistic evasion. Holy crap! Plus two evasion ignored with ballistic weapons. Wow, king crab improved targeting. Plus one accuracy with ranged weapons. Piercing SRM six. Does one structural damage modifier and then piercing large pulse. Does 12 structure. That's terrifying. So in theory, we can have up to 30 points, right? That's six, one. Oh no, I can't count. It's going to be six plus the 12 is 18 straight through. And the rotary gauss rifles, they deal 45 per shot. Holy crap. And it's the full 900 meters. That's terrifying. So like a rack, basically. Did we have a death? No deaths, no deaths. Yeah. What happened to Amiel? He's good. He's, he's fine. All right. This is incredible. Wow. We got super lucky, didn't we? That's crazy. Well... Uh, let's go ahead. Let's go in and take a look at the barracks, and then we will head on over. So let's bring this down, yeah? Luck box. Hero mech quirk. Did he have a, did he have a special quirk? I didn't see. Uh, guts piloting for blue. Let's do let's do the guts. I have a feeling we're gonna need need it. Uh, we got passion. <laughs> Love Gramps. Pirate up to gunnery 10. That is incredible. He totally deserves it for getting the killing blow on bloody doves. Uh, we'll get the uh, serve cold. We'll get him up on the piloting as well. If we can get a little bit of extra hit defense uh, on him, that'll be fantastic. And we got Wily. We get the bonus for the heat efficiency. That's fantastic as well. Let's go and take a look. So if we go over to the command center, we can see that we've got Kringle's Killers. We've got... Ooh, take the bait. I love that. Here's Kringle's Killers. Four and a half skull assassination in a tundra. Oh, dear God. We've agreed to an exercise against Kringle's Killers to help prep them for the holiday season. Our primary objective is to take out Commander Kringle himself. However, he will likely be protected by two lances of quad mechs, codenamed Carabao Lance and Rangifer, <laughs> Rangifer Lance, as well as several squads of battle armor. Save? Oh, that is smart. Cuts off Amiel's foot. I need it for buying lottery tickets. <laughs> He's a very lucky bunny. He definitely is a very lucky bunny. All right, we're good. Thank you so much for the reminder. Oh, and Amiel did want me to take a look at one of the battle tanks, right? The Manticore. 
as an LRM10, SRM6 PPC? Sure, why not? We've got the funds for it. Kringle's killers hit hard, very hard. That, we've seen it firsthand. It was terrifying. In we go, four and a half. Let's see if we can do it. It might take us a few turns, yeah? Or a few tries. Also, Horsker. I kind of want to bring the Horsker. I know they'll get shot out of the sky, but, but I kind of want to bring the Horsker. I, I feel like we need to dump the Axe of Question right behind the enemy. We got the King Crab. I think they will repair us, so I think we should be okay. So we pull these. The Demolisher is not going to get in range, let's be real. It's just not. Um, and we'll have some suicide pilots here. I mean, I mean... <laughs> They know what they're getting into. It's not our fault. Hope and a dream. Albatross would be able to pick those two. I kind of feel like we want to pick up... Oh, I don't know. I kind of feel like we want to pick up even the Axe of Question. I guess he's pretty fast. He just can't really jump. Uh, Pile Driver, Helepolis. I mean, we're going to be fully exposed. It's going to be really rough. Avatar, awesome. Dante Bunny. I mean, we can replace the Avatar with a King Crab. 860. So we got 860. And then we got Shaw's... We've got Amiel. Amiel can get into the... He likes the Manticore, right? Shock Troops. I mean, we could bring a Karnov. Places Amiel's stump into a cloning vat to grow more. We could get a Karnov. <laughs> Should we risk it? I don't think that's smart. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Uh, we can... Which has the most armor? 900. 560. 816. You know what? Sure. Amiel, you got yourself a g total... Tonnage must be less than 900 tons. I guess that makes sense. Okay, Amiel, you don't. You don't have it. Can we get on... Uh... <laughs> we could get a Karnov, but that doesn't really help us too much. You'll sit out. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. All right, bunnies. Four and a half skull difficulty assassinate in a tundra. This is Kringle's killers. Commander Kringle and his crew should be in the area. Move up to get eyes on the target and any escort he might have. Once he's down, head to the evac point for your pickup. Our vision might be worse at night, but the Arctic temps improve sensor signals. We'll get sensor returns before we see anything visually. Oh, baby. All right, so the big thing is we got to pick ourselves up, but it's going to be kind of rough. We'll go in an airlift right from the get-go. We got the Dante. We got the Hope and a Dream. Pick that up. The weird thing is, for a tank armed to the teeth with energy weapons, the Anto has an internal combustion engine instead of a fusion engine. Maybe they didn't want to worry about any sort of side stack pulling or anything like that. I, that's the only thing I can think of. We got the Axe of Question, but we want to pick up the, uh, the Albatross. Ooh, or we can... No, I'm not going to pick up the King Crab. The Awesome. Awesome? The Awesome? Did I forget? Oh, here we go. The Albatross. Can we get him? Hold up. I want to double check that. There we go. There we go. There it is. Beautiful. Cheers, cold bro. Cold bro indeed. Oh, man. You got me. All right. We're going to go in and lock quad 70. A bar guest. Okay. So we know this one. They've got tons of nasty UX. Oh, dear God. Almost every bar guest has long range weapons, Gauss rifles, UAC 20s, non stop firepower for days. Yeah. Hold. So I, the only thing you can really hope for is that they're not going to have, they won't really have any sort of line of sight for a while. I've got a sense there we go. Two evasion. The fortunate thing, they really don't have the speed. Bar guest, LBX AC 20. A lot of big hitters. We'll just hold while they don't have line of sight. We'll just let them spend their movement. Got an ER PPC. Definitely has a range for it. Reserve one. I don't want to do a full... Okay, full reserve. Want to bait their movement. Commander. All right, ask a question. You're on the move. We're going to go ahead and break left here. Calling it. So now they got sight. So tank's going to be the primary target. Go and try and send a ping. Beautiful. You gotta love those electro lasers. They do not fire unless they're going to connect. So that's huge. Surprised they cannot see the flyers. Ain't that a thing? Ain't that the truth? I'm just, I'm counting my blessings right now. I'm not really questioning it. And welcome to Cunningham. LBX AC 20s. Oh boy. Yep. Okay. First, first, <laughs> I was gonna say first blood. I mean, first nick and a scratch Damn, on tank. Minimal. There's gonna be a lot more after that, I'm sure. Or so they've got two, they got seven, they got four. 
commander. King Crab. All right, so we got the King Crab. I kind of want to lock Ooh, these guys down. Awesome. Mm, not I'm the here. biggest of Dante. We'll get in this little patch right no. here. And we're just going to try and clear the way a little bit. This bar guest at seven. This bar guest in the back. This bar guest with the UX. UX kind of nasty. So let's go ahead and try and... Is he going to do it? I mean, maybe? I don't know. Doesn't seem like the right thing to do. But I'm going to give him the heat. He's got a lot of hot stuff that UX20 pops off. The ERPPC pops off. But he's probably got plenty of cooling. I don't know if that, that probably wasn't the smartest idea. But... Yeah, 21 heat. I don't know if it's going to do anything. Who knows? If we've got a breach, it might cause an ammo explosion of some kind. Got heavy gauss, close range 125, and a whiff. Oh my goodness. It's like dodging sledgehammers and trains. Now that they move, pile driver, we got two, two here. So we'll focus on this and actually connect with that, which has seven evasion, maybe even tag the bar guest out here. So we're going to switch over to augmented fast cam. Now we got a ping, 30%. That is not good. Wow, Inferno, Shape Charge, no, absolutely not. High Explosive, we'll just try and ping someone. I love Long Toms because you, <laughs> you don't have to directly hit, yeah? Unless you've got that, uh, you're firing the Shape Charge. We've got three. They've got more on the hill for sure. You can see way up at the tippy top, way at the tippy top. Commander Kringle's like way back there. Look at that elevation change, that's ridiculous. And no jump jets. All right, Helepolis. And you know what? Should we risk? We'll go for a shape charge on this one. Good connect. Holy crap. And he nails it straight to the middle of that heavy Gauss wielding bar guest. We got our king crab. Going to be hard to hit. Uh, we got our awesome. We'll kind of stay a little bit second line because we really don't have the heaviest armor, even though it's an awesome, believe it or not. Uh, I would like to switch to split so we have a second chance to connect anywhere. And we ping with the second half of it. I'll take anything. Any chance to get crits in the middle. Long Tom screw that area code over there. Heck yes. All right, we got the King Crab. We got the Rotary Gauss Rifles. Hard to hit, 56. Let's go ahead and queue this up. We queue it up all the way to three, but high chance to jam. Bunny's going to be the first set from the... Is this too much? Maybe this is too much. Oh, well. First... <laughs> like a hero in three, two, and one. That hit quite a bit. 37 in the middle. And, uh... Yeah, he basically lost all the armor off that left force. So that's, that's not too shabby. We hit that with a high explosive. That's a lot. Only six volleys at three shot mode. That's, that's pretty good. So right now we got we got five evasion. We want to move as quickly as possible. Get on in there. They're definitely going to be pinging us. Want to hit that opening. We got SRMs and send full stack. He's got six in the middle. Holy crap, he's got six in the middle. A bunny link curse for sure. He's still standing. There is no overkill. There's only open fire and time to reload. Heck yes. Thank you so much, Crossbow. No such thing as too much HP. If you're le leaving scorch marks, you need bigger guns. Heck yes. The bunnies all think alike. I love it. Thank you so much for correcting me of my error. All right, pirate. I think it's time to teach this guy that even though he only has six in the middle, six structure, and he's basically held together by half of a scaffolding, and he's over his stability threshold, it's time to show him that there's no such thing as overkill. In three, two, and one. Because if you don't hit, you don't kill. <laughs> come on, come on. All right, HP's up, hope and a dream. We gotta hope and a dream. I kind of feel like I should probably be working this guy. 37, 74. And then, can I ping this? 17? All right, you know what? Screw it. In we go. Time to give him that smooth, smooth jazz. And still didn't ping it. Holy crap, this guy is resilient. Wow, this guy's ridiculous. Oh, we got it. Helepolis, you're not going to stop this. This intensifying firepower. We're coming in with high explosive. Work that problem. Find the solution. My goodness. Did we not seriously? Oh my gosh. Apparently, he dodged area codes. He's actually able to move. He's actually able to get some shots or at least do some value. He's got some value. All right, fine. Work the problem. 
There it is. My goodness, this guy's terrifying. Wow, he really put that to good use. Oh, did we hit someone else? Did we get two? Oh no, we got one. We got one. The guy's still there? The other, his friend? Uh, his friend's still there. Okay, good. Awesome's up. Do we have a better angle? There we go. Unfettered access. It's a pain and misery for our enemies. <laughs> All right, Crunch. Oh my gosh, that's such a bad chance to hit. All right, stay on split. We went Warlord 2 with plus two accuracy, and that's what we get. Oof. That is rough. Hey, Mag. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Thanks You're joining us right now. We're currently in the Thanks middle of Kringle's Killers. We're trying to change our fate. Hopefully you're doing well. How are we this evening? Well, we were able to complete the... Finally complete BTA's challenge. We are able to get ourselves a beautiful, beautiful Bloody Doves King Crab variant. So, very, very well. Hopefully you're doing well, man. We got 43. That's a pretty decent, decent one there. We'll come in with a little bit of uh, high explosive and normal shots. Able to take off enemy evasion with sensor locks? We can, the Cunningham. Absolutely we can. We absolutely can. I just... I was too busy shooting. <laughs> thank you for reminding me. And Mac, thank you so much for the reason for 27 months, man. That's crazy. I mean, you're over two years now, yeah? Thank you. And I'm, I'm just... I'm always... I'm just tickled pink to see so many bunnies again. All right, we got the King Crab. So, bunnies, if you haven't seen it, this is the Bloody Doves version of the King Crab. It has two rotary Gauss rifles at 45 points potential per barrel. So, that's six shots total. A piercing large pulse at 12 internal structural damage on connect. And then, of course, piercing SRMs for the full gamut at one structural damage per missile. So, not too sure if we're in range for the SRMs. We are, but it's looking pretty dire. We got Cashin and the Dante Bunny. I think he can lock. That's at 7 evasion, though. We can lock up the UAC-20 below. Fair enough answer. Too busy shooting. Best excuse. <laughs> you actually took my excuse. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, breaching shot. Full value. And no connect. No connect. There we go. <laughs> hey, Shaws. Good to see you. Welcome. Standing by. Hopefully you're doing well, man. You're joining us right now. We're currently fighting for our lives. Good to go. All right, King Crab. I mean, we got to take a shot now. Or we got a shot for... It's a little obstructed, but I do want to stay in cover. 43 here. I got a decent chance to ping it. And send. Got some internal damage there. Beautiful. Unless they've got ECM. Oh, God. Am I in this fight? Yes, you are, Pirate. Yes, you are. You're flying one of these horse screws out here. And then we got yes, Tank. Commander. Full speed, tank. Full speed. Get on in there. On the move. All right, what do we got? We've got additional contacts up above. And that LBX AC-20 is the best chance here. So defensive formation is going to mitigate this by 20%. We're going to send everything we got at range and just try and work this guy. NPC sensor impairment. Hopefully that's going to guard us from this gigantic tube of death on him. I'm great. Ready to see some four kicks it straight to the head. That's what we like to hear. I sure hope that we can successfully land the just for kicks it as well, Shaz. So right now we got a lot of in, a lot incoming from above. That's going to be really, really rough. 78 here, but you got to remember that uh, HB has no evasion when he's in the air, which is pretty rough. So we might have to drop ourselves for a little bit while we engage. Depending on mods or versions or whatnot, think there used to be a skill that made you evasion pip immune to sensor locks. That is in this mod. I know you. we couldn't actually sensor lock bloody does. I mean, we could, but it wouldn't actually do anything. It wouldn't strip any of the pips. So that is a real thing. So we got really lucky there. That was a huge whiff on our back line. Our guest can shoot in any direction, I think. Is it going to shoot at the back? No, it's not working the leg gosh all they have to do is hit once and with the combined firepower i mean they could just take a mech out in one turn like from full so a little dangerous double gauss that's got to be oh that's got to be kringle himself how's our albatross he's got lost about 95 95 in the middle that's not too bad there we go there we go squad four ton oh that's right they've got battle armor as well totally forgot about that 
Got a new quad. Gosh. Oh, yep, they're all hitting HB. How's that torso? 127. So we probably want to get on the ground and then pick up so we can like spread the horse cur. Let's go ahead and drop. Oh, do we though? Hang on. I guess we could drop and then fly or we could bring ourselves through. How's our armor on? I think the albatross is okay. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> this is such a bad idea. Are we, no, we're going to get, we're going to get absolutely hammered. No, that's a horrible idea. Okay. So we're going to drop the albatross. We're going to engage shielded stance for 50% damage mitigation. Hell yes. Then we're going to move as quickly as we can to get the evasion up and high. And we want to stay a little bit away from the strike zone where tank is standing right in the middle of it. <laughs> and uh, try and get that angle. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful. So we have SRMs. SRMs on tack. I don't think we have any breaches, though. The Barkest. We do have a breach here. Totally forgot about it. What about LRMs. And we'll try to connect with that. Hopefully don't hit tank. And to the arm. That's okay. That's fine. New inbound. All right, so we got battle armor inbound. Let's go ahead and drop HB. A hope and a dream on the ground. And then we're going to move. We're actually going to paint a target because these guys can actually get a lot of evasion, it seems like. So let's go ahead and move. We'll go full sprint. We're actually going to get... Ooh, but we see the green. This is so tempting. It is so tempting. So... Uh... <laughs> do we help the bunnies get the kill or do we shoot the enemy in the butt? So the smart thing is to help. Okay, we're going to shoot him in the butt. So we'll go Vigilance here. And we're going for the green. It doesn't matter if we've got a bad chance at hitting him or not. They tempted us. It's not our fault. It's not our fault. All right, send it. Stack that. There we go. Just soften that up. Soften the rear. There we go. That's what we're talking about. 33. 33 armor in the back. Got HB forward in the hope and a dream. He's going to walk up. Step up to the plate. And we're going Precise Strike. How are we doing here? He's got that UX-20. He's already weak on that side. Full salvo. Come on, people. Let's make it happen. 15. Very good. Very good. A little high explosive is going to pop that right off. Send him to the ground. We got Antonides in the Albatross with MRM-50. So we're going to go ahead and focus that target, focus that bar guest, and say good night. Enemy down. So apparently there is no overkill, but... And to 90s just keep shooting it. Yes. Bar guess our XL engine equipped even better. I didn't know. High five. I'd rather die out of ammo versus die with a full mag. Heck yes. Well, you know what? We're going to unload as quickly as we can. Ooh, hello. Right, we're actually taking hits to our back line here. We got to get into cover as quickly as possible. We're not typically able to get shot at, but uh, they've got the advantage. So we'll just walk it on up. Won't be able to use intensify firepower on this one. That's okay. Precise strike. If we're off, we'll hit tank in the back with a shape charge. But I have faith that... I have faith in the 7.3% chance. Yeah, I have... <laughs> All right. It's away before I forget... There we go. Didn't even doubt it. Heck yes, just open up the middle just like that. Empty the ammo bins. Also, don't explode. Oh, that's right. They don't explode. You're right. You're right. Absolutely. All right. We gotta we gotta push it then. Let's let's uh let's walk it on over. We got that opportunity. We're actually gonna switch over to Link this time. We're going in with a precise strike, that beautiful, beautiful blast, and send him the triple three straight to core. Oh, that's a lot of that's a decent amount of damage. All right, since 72, I saw the orange. And it looks, they've got eight. They've got single digit structure in the middle held together by floss. Some it's might even say it's on. glide. So far, so good. Need to drop infernos on the battle armor. Ooh, that is a great plan. We just got to survive it. ER PPCs. Oh, and the connection. Didn't get to move them yet. What do we got out here? We've almost cleared the scouts, but... We're not fast enough. You gotta remember that Kringle does have Gauss rifles, so when we see that double Gauss ping, that's who it's coming from. So LBX AC20 is huge. Hopefully it doesn't have any slugs. 
They got me locked. All right, he's locking. That's okay. That's okay. Me. That's fine. I got to crash. Good time as always. Everyone have a great Friday and weekend. Friend, thank you so much for swinging on by. I hope you have... I... <laughs> that's terrifying. That was Kringle. I hope you have a great weekend and we'll catch you on the next one, man. Have a good one, foe. All right, Tank. Tank's got the swing. We can get on in there. Uh, do we have anyone else? What if we come in from this side here? No, what if we come in from that side? No. All right, fair enough, fair enough. I guess we'll just... We've got to keep sprinting. we got to get up there. We're going as quickly as we can. Here we go. Full sprint from Axe a question. Vigilance since we're in the open. Come on, people. Let's make it happen. And just hold here. we got to cool off. Cool off. What do we got? We got three. Three on the move. Oh, thank goodness. Please, please let our pile driver go. So this has got to be the next one. While he's up. I don't want him taking full value here. Wiley in the cover. Beautiful. Alright, we gotta switch this over. We got fast cam. Fast cam. Augmented fast cam. Let's go in and stack. We can actually drop onto. I don't know if we can shoot this wide. I wanna stack these guys. Stop Confirm. them in their tracks. If we get that fast cam in the right place, if they try to move, they can only take a couple of steps, maybe one. That's gonna help. It's gonna help a little bit, yeah? A lot of direct line of sight out there. Alright, King Crab. We need to drop their spotters. Can work. The sign. I'm surprised that we haven't jammed at all. It's kind of amazing. Got that heavy gauss above. All right. Full send. No retreat. Heck yes. This is incredible. Absolutely incredible. The crazy thing about this is it's got so much internal damage through piercing weaponry that if they've got that XL engine and they've got so many shots and you got any kind of breach, even without a breach, you've got the chance to crit that engine and just like make the whole thing go pop, yeah? High gunnery offsets the jam or should. It does at that. You are absolutely correct. Just watch your ammo. That's a good point. We are burning through it very quickly at six per salvo. At least we've still got the backups in the form of the large pulse, but we really want to clear these guys. Let's go in and stack the high. The high end, we got Dante all set. We'll hold this position. Battle Lord up. I actually want to stack this guy. Hmm. Acid's not going to be it, is it? Okay, that's not it. That's not it. Ooh, the arrow for. Tell you what, we're going to sprint instead. Sprint to cover. And we got it. We can work what's right in front of us. Do it. We can try and hit that. We got AoE pings. He's got 83. I just want to see those multiple pings. 81, 80, 75, 74. Get enough crits. Get some crits. And he's still around. Okay, what do we got? Horsker. Horsker. We need that vigilance. On the move. Want to get up there. Come on, people. Let's make it happen. We're getting aggressive with it. Let's go in and lock up the... Oh, we got... The 985. That's Kringle. I've got a lock. We got the gunslinger. We got Kringle here. We'll take a look at him in just a sec. Kringle Slay versus Bloody Doves King Crab. The Clash of Titans. Ain't that a thing? Look at that. Getting aggressive. All the evasion. That is not Kringle. Really? Yes, it is. We got. Yeah, we got Commander Kringle here. Take a look at this. We got a gunslinger right there. Double Gauss Rifle. We've got four ER medium lasers. We've got a C3 Master double medium laser. And apparently he DFAs for 190. That's terrifying. All right. On the move. Full. All the way to the right side. All the way to the right side. Okay. I guess. All right. Vigilance. Actually, you know what? I want to paint the target. Can we paint this guy? Okay, we're gonna paint this guy who's in front of us, the bar guest, yeah? Grabs glasses. No, he cheats. Amulet, I think the Goliath is Kringle's sled. He's got a sled? Is it this? Bar guest. Oh, this is Rudolph. We got Rudolph right here. What are these guys? Are they elves? <laughs> Buddy. We got Buddy and Papa Elf. <laughs> this is Papa Elf. Oh, that's amazing. All right, come on, come on, come on. Hope in a dream. Hope in a dream. Gosh, we are so slow. All right, walk it out. Get on in there. 
You know what? I'm just gonna... Uh, we'll send the shots. Good connects. Good connects. If you win, that is what you get. Oh, we get the sled. Holy crap, that's awesome. So it's not it's not up to chance. They just give you the sled. I, I love it. I love it already. That is great. I want a sled? I, you know, I've never had a sled as a kid. I guess this is finally my night. Yes, he has elves. Battle armor reindeer are the bar guests. Sled is the Goliath. And Kringle is the gunslinger. The, the question is, does he get to ride it? Ooh, that leg's looking awfully dicey. That's rough. Uh, that seems like a really great understanding. I'm down with that. Gosh, these guys are terrifying. Ooh, we took a big hit there. Or oh, we got half armor in the middle on the hope and a dream. We had about 1,600 uh, armor, and now we're down to like 1,300. Albatross, definitely want to stack this guy all in. Just drop him. Come on, come on. Work through the signs. Got one there. So exposed. 41, 38. And the LBX is down. I will take that. I will take it. The ER large laser is still dangerous, but uh, that LBX being down is huge. We got battle armor. We got two of them. We got a bar guest in the way. We got a full lance on the left side there. And they are hitting nonstop. ER PPCs, Gauss rifles, super, super accurate. Bargas 2T's got a UAC 20. I definitely don't want to be around for that guy. So we'll just go ahead and take a nice little walk here. We got two turns for Sir Cole to actually get himself. Let's see what we got. We'll hold on to that shape charge there. Four evasion, seven. I guess we can go Inferno on these little void battle armor. I'm not sure if we'll connect. You know, just to try it, I kind of want to pop one off. It's 22%. Very low chance we'll actually do anything. There we go. A little bit of burning there. That should help. I hear that people don't like burning. Them being on the hill really adds to the accuracy too. Sucks fighting uphill. Yeah, yeah. We do get malices shooting upwards. They do get bonuses to, to shoot down. But, uh, man, uh, it's we got to get up there or we stay indirect or, or we just get aggressive. We just got to get aggressive. Oh, that is not good. We've got 27. We got double digit here. 27 armor left on that side. Fire. I smell bacon. I sure hope it's not us. I sure hope it's them. Or that bar guest. What's he got? He's got two evasion. That's not too bad. By. Okay, so before we start Waiting popping off, order. we got our awesome. We got to give him a right side. So we'll go ahead and move. We'll give the right over to this lance because I'm just banking on the LBX AC20 that isn't on the lead bar guest to not really be a problem. I will use shielded stance to mitigate by 50%. And we'll just take a chance. Get one ping, we'll take it. 18 seems like it's to the arm. Okay, we'll take that too. Wood smoked bacon. All right, here we go. We got a lock on Kringle. It looks like his head is reinforced. Double gauss. Straight to the albatross. The albatross is falling apart very, very quickly. All right, got tank. Tank full speed, tank full speed. We're going to make tank we'll visible to everybody. Right in the middle of all the battle armor, everything like that. No so that he'll draw some attention. Let's go in and work Kringle. Work that guy. Center and pair. That is the main target. We got to get this guy. I have a mind to just clear the field. It used to be you shoot him and you extract. But this time around, I kind of feel like we should just make them pay. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? We have a 20% chance to connect. That's really rough. Yeah, that's super rough. Uh, what do we have? Where, where do we actually have a decent chance? Otherwise, we're going to target the ground. Looks like we have to target the ground here. Uh, let's see, ping these guys. Fast cam's going to help. High explosive, send it. I have a burning question. I need to axe the Kringle. Oh, yes. You're going to have to get closer to ask that question. It's a very private question. <laughs> I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. That's what we like to see. Just yep. lay it all out for him. And uh, with the King Crab, looks like we've got the opportunity to blast the butt. So we're definitely going to do it. Uh, I'm going to use Vigilant since we're out in the open. Would like to do a precise strike to the butt, but we'll take this instead. We're actually going to come in with a singles ping. Regular pings here and stack the rear. And he's got... How much do you have there? He's 
He's got 41 on the... He's got one! He has one structure on that XL engine. Commander? It's not going to take much at all, but uh, I feel like we need to prioritize targets here. We got arrow four. We could burn out the void armor just to protect tank, give him a wall of fire. If we try and strike 11%. Let's... We're... I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. We're going to try and burn this out. Send it. Come on, cash in. Come on, cash in. Burn these guys. Void battle armor. Direct hits. Oh! I think things are going swimming. Heck yes. Not too bad. We took one out. Order? All right. Horsker. Inbound. We want... Do we have the green? We have the green. We have the green. Full bore, full bore. And stay back. Oh, there it is. We got it. All right, so as fast as we can while still taking a shot, eight evasion, that's not too bad. What I will do, though, is I'm going to lock him up. Just keep him locked, keep him sensor impaired. Sensors locked on. All right, void battle armor. I mean, the fact that they're getting sensor impairment on tank doesn't really bother me too much because tank isn't really going to be doing a lot other than, well, tanking until he closes the distance with Kringle. I'm hoping Kringle decides to come closer and be curious. Oh, yes. Move through the burn. That's right. All right. We got pirate. Pirate on the move. Did we? Oh, we never finished this guy. Oh, that's got to change. Absolutely has to change. But I am seeing a little bit of green here. Roger that. Going to full throttle. What are our chances? 30%. If we go precise, 69. Oh, that's not too bad. I'll go straight 69 to the rear. No retreat. We actually connected full value. That's beautiful. It's got like 11 total between armor Wait, and structure on that guy. Vigilance to clear the stability damage. We got to, I guess, oh, I'm going to shoot right over the shoulder. And send it. Time to give him that smooth. There it is! Finally, we wipe out the lead Carabao Lance. All that is left is the full Lance to the left. We got two Elves in front of us and a Bar Guest, and then Kringle himself. All right, 70 in. I'm worried about the Albatross right now. We definitely need to vacate the premises as quickly as possible or give him the rear or something like that because everyone wants a piece. Working on cash and... Oh, big hits! Huge hits from the UAC-20... Finally in range. Absolutely terrifying damage. Antonides, unfortunately, is not in a position to be able to do anything about something like that. So we need to distance ourselves. We need to give the enemy our extreme right to increase the chances that he's actually going to hit the relatively, well, the, in the intact-ish armor. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to lock that bar gas so he has zero evasion increasing our chances to actually connect he is uphill we do have malices to hit and we need to drop that ux20 as quickly as possible to the dante they're actually focusing fire fortunately we i think we did we, mm, we didn't quite shoot yet so it's going to be really hard to actually connect with anything precise strike precise strike how are we doing here that's not too bad we'll take a shape charge sometimes he well we just hoping to connect here. Where is a fuzzy wall? Hey, Lumi! And a good connect straight to Kringle's leg. Absolutely fantastic. Lumi, hopefully you're doing well. Our fuzzy wall is mostly the fact that we failed at both of these events before. And now we actually have a little bit of a better chance to make it happen. But if you haven't checked out Lumina, she is a great, great friend of the Bunny League. Definitely, definitely worth checking out. So hopefully you're doing well, Lumi. Uh, we're doing just fine. We actually got... Bloody Doves King Crab of all things, yeah? Ain't that a thing? So, pretty decent chance to hit, plus two accuracy, extra damage with Battle Lord, and we're coming in with the triple improved binary laser. That is solid! A solid hit. 95 on one of them. Straight on that side. Poor, poor Dante Bunny. Hopefully, he's going to be left standing. Uh, so, we can actually write and correct all of the wrongs. I'm doing okay. I'm back in the military fully. Oh, congratulations. You did say last time. That was fast, yeah? HB tried to kill me, Lumi. Got my tank Commander. blown up. No, no, no. Look at tank. He is one. He's not. He's 
80% okay. Say, take a look at him. Look at him. He looks so fine, doesn't he? It's pretty incredible, really. I, I'm quite impressed. Really. By. Thanks. Looking pretty good. We got Data King out here. We got the King Crab. Awaiting orders. Uh, let's go ahead and get... We got our King Crab. We'll get Data King to shoot first and ask questions later. We're going to send a full... Send a couple of things. We're not doing the full rotary gauss rifle to preserve the ammunition. And then don't be able to take that walk. We'll walk over to the left side here. Yeah. HB, that was Amiel. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> but if this happens a lot more, call me. I can get rid of that problem from one of three zip codes away now. She's got a lot of artillery. Uh, Lumi's not the person you want to mess with. Okay, so we got our Void Battle Armor. Void, more elves. More elves. So the only ones in range, it seems, are these tiny little elves. So what we're going to do, we're going to sprint all the way up to Kringle and expose our rear to the enemy. Actually, no, no, no. That, that's probably not smart. Can we? Oh, but I like hitting him in the rear. Okay, what if we... All right, Tank. I'm torn right now. You know what? Let's just hold. We'll hold right here. Maybe Kringle's going to come closer. We'll just reserve one. Not exactly artillery. More like a sniper rifle and then know how to use it. Please teach me. <laughs> I mean, not... I mean, I want to learn how to shoot. Oh, that's not good. How are we doing here? 82. That is really rough. Hopefully we have enough resolve. We got cash in. There we go. Vigilance to clear that stability damage. We're going to walk it on back. And uh, who can we ping here? Let's see. Nine. 20% with the arrow. We're just out of range here. We got 0.9 and we can hit this. I think I'm going to take my chances here. Uh, we're going to drop. Drop one of the bombard. We'll switch on over to regular. And send. Just kind of soften this guy up. Well, he came in closer. Not as close as I would have liked. But I'm sure I can use it as artillery. I'm sure it will feel much like artillery. Pile driver. Oh, would have been good to wait. Oh, but it's tough to wait here because waiting means potential death, right? So let's come in. We're going to go in for a shaped charge. Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight at ahead. No retreat. Good connect. And one on the torso. Come on, just ping the torso. Heck yes! All right. The UX-20 is down. <laughs> that was terrifying. Shape charge brought him down to one structure on that side. These are actually salvageable. You can salvage from this? Holy crap. Awaiting I thought that this was just, well, not salvageable. That's crazy. All right, if we walk it in, I guess we can come in from this side. We could kick this guy. We could hit him with an ax. Uh, we could hit this void armor. We could kick that guy. Nope, not going to do it. We're sprinting. We're sprinting all the way through. Come on, tank. Affirmative. There we go. There we go. So we're back is really exposed right now. I forgot how hard Spec Ops can be. Oh, dude. I don't know how hard it can be. I would just imagine it's very hard. All right, bring it around. Here we go. All the way around. All right, we're going to start blasting him in the butt. This is how we do it. There we go. Work that backside. So we're actually going to use shielded stance. Any damage mitigation is going to be helpful. And then open him up. At least the pay is good. Almost two and a half times. Holy crap. All right. That's good. You got to love it. I'm happy. Happy for you. Okay. Yep. 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 Thank. You know, if they've got an LBX AC 20 to the rear, that's going to go clean through. Wait. We're just going to have to distract him, right? Smart. Let's go. Full speed. Full speed for HP. I got the speed. Vigilance. Come on, people. We got to help out tank happen. here. Let's go in a lock. Lock that on the hill. I'm at about 140. Wow, that's crazy. That's awesome. Not including... Oh my goodness. Wow, you're... Well, you know what? I guess you are really earning your money. Let's put it that way. So far, so good. That's why leaders get paid more. Still never enough to not strangle the problem. <laughs> are we coming around? We want that green. There we go. We got the green. We got the green. Vigilance. And come on, pirate. Open up that rear. We got 15 on the back side. There we go. We got zero armor. So 71 exposed structure on that side. If we can actually get in with an axe to the back. Oh my gosh. That might be game over. And then we can clean out the bar guests. I have a feeling to safely extract, we're going to actually have to take out the bar guests. So. Okay. Time for me to go to bed as well. Good night, bunnies. Have a great week. And Crossbow, thanks so much for swinging on by. Thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great weekend. And we'll catch you on the next one. Man. Have a good one. Well, I will have two. I train others. I command a unit. I may have to go on deployments. 
Uh, they better pay well. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, and I moved closer with the albatross. That's not a good thing. Made a little bit of a mistake there. Uh, I guess we'll just, we'll try and lock him. We'll just lock him as best we can. He was at five. He's down to one. Here we go. So he's clearing that. I don't know how much evasion he's actually going to get by that maneuver. He's working the tank. He's trying to get around to the rear. Hanging tanks left on the arm. Still has 100. He can take commander. a single blast from like a slug or something. Commander? Got served. There we go. We've got intensify firepower. We need to see if we can actually connect here. We have a 43% chance. 1350. I mean, I almost just want to blow the bar guest through 25 20 we'll go intensify high explosives 40 i guess we'll go in who's already damaged they're all fresh we could hit the void battle armor that's 13 though that's 25 and the gunslinger you know what danger close danger all close bunnies go, go! Did, did, uh, Target eliminated. Mop up the remaining enemies or head for the evac LZ. Oh, man. Two south. What happened? What happened? Crits on the open back torso. Oh, is that what happened? That's terrifying. Someone's going to be buying Tank a lot of beer. <laughs> oh, come on, Tank. Now Tank just has to survive all the shots to the rear. I'm sure he'll manage. You might have XL checked him. Dude, that is... That's seriously... Uh, super checked oh come on come on yep yep that smarts he's good he's fine he's fine yep yep we just have to weather one more weather one more it's a bar guest with a heavy gauss it's 125 potential he didn't shoot it he didn't oh thank god all right reserve down to one all right so what we're gonna do is actually we're going to utilize the pile driver's target prediction so to increase everyone's accuracy by two for the rest of this turn. We're going to walk it up. I copy. There we go. And we're going to try and connect. Who can we work here? We got 20. That's with a heavy gauss. He's definitely in range. 28, 15. I mean, I guess, I guess we'll just switch over to augmented fast cam and we'll come in with a high explosive round. Try and hit somebody. There we go. Fire direct. Ooh, okay, Amiel. I like, I like the fast cam. Still self- all right, Tank, what can you do? Oh, you can just kick this guy? You can't axe him? All right, fine. We will kick the little guys. Defensive formation. And we're going to come in on the void armor. Hopefully, we'll be able to connect with him. Give him a nice little step. If anyone can do it, it's Tank. Tank is our melee specialist. Hopefully, we'll be able to do some decent damage. Yep, got one. <laughs> And guns, guns, guns. Oh, yep, we're pinging them. They're getting pinged. Oh, we got one more. Yep. No retreat. Not bad. They're down to two. <laughs> Considering they're, uh, you know, invisible. All right, walk her up. Let's get in there as quickly as possible. Well, time to kick some elves. <laughs> All right. What do we got? This guy's got one evasion. This guy's got two. We're going to want to work the closest bar guest. We're going to key this up to a full set with a rotary gauss. Hot damn, let's do this. There we go. Soften up that side. Beautiful. This got that UX 20. Yes, Commander. Crunch. Come on. We got the linked shots. Man, this is really going to hurt. You know what? Sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight to the head. Come on, people. Let's make it Give him a nice happen. ping there. All right, and leg out. Beautiful. So he's going to be limping now. And it's interesting because he doesn't fall. I'm curious if that means that we have to have both of the legs on that side to fall or if they're like opposite. Curious. How does that work? If you think about it, if you are looking at the mech from the bottom and you got your front right, front left, rear right, rear left, does that mean if you blow off this leg and this and these are still existing, then you kind of teeter-totter. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how it works now. 
All right, we've got... Ooh, I'm just going to come in with all the... Ex oh, I guess I have to rest it. We'll brace here. No you have to shoot out two legs. It doesn't matter which ones, just any two. Some are okay. A lot I wouldn't give anything sharper than a butter knife and safety scissors. You know, I feel safest with a butter knife and safety Barely scissors. Hit. So I, I totally understand. They're going to have to merge both of the elves together to make one full one. <laughs> all right, there we go. Time for harassment. This is what we live for. We're always going to keep vigilance up, though, if we can. Come on, people, let's go in and work that. Uh, stack the rear. Full set. Open up that heavy gauss. Just do not run with the scissors. But they're safety scissors, the cunning M. They're safe. <laughs> Void. Back it on up. He's got half. Commander. Pirate. We want that green. We want the green. We want expose. There we go. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Come on, pirate. Come on. Work that. Want the green. Full send. Heavy gauss. Heavy gauss. No joy to orange. Around you, nothing is safe. <laughs> what? It's like you're saying the impossible is totally possible with me. <laughs> I'm touched. Oh, man. I am so touched. Man, me. the bunnies. They really respect me. <laughs> I got the All right. Hope for the tree. Let's do this. All right. What do we got? Haven't fired in a while. We're hoping to connect with them in more trouble. ways than one. Oh, all right. And splash one for a hope and a dream. We got the dream. They got two void armor out here. We got that bar guest. It's looking rather swimmingly. It's not impossible. It's just improbable well you know what improbable means it's still possible that's right we'll give them our right side got to be careful here and we're going to try and try our best to connect with this guy 56 not too bad it means we're going to be able to connect with like 25 mrm possibly oh he had 130 armor on that leg he's down to 22 22 that was an incidental target Although in City World, remember your co-workers were the better choice according to HR. Imagine who they passed on. Taking heavy hits, Commander. It kind of... It'd probably hurt to realize you passed on Lumi. Let's just put it that way. Got a precise strike. I mean, I guess we can target this guy. He's right in the middle. Uh, hopefully it'll be enough. We've got Inferno. We'll go high explosive. No retreat. Oh, that is not it. Wow. Uh... Did we hurt Tank? Oh, no, we didn't. Uh. <laughs> I'm so scared that we hit Tank. Ooh, that's not good. Nope, nope. Tank's fine. Tank's fine. You can see he's still alive. Look, no injuries at all. That's right. Honestly, he's the toughest bunny around. That's why I'm just going to look just to show the bunnies that he's... Yep, he's still okay. <laughs> oh, thank God. All right, Crunch. Crunch is ready. Let's get on the firing line. Let's go in and work these guys like no tomorrow. Precise strike is up. Sometimes you got to adjust for kicks it straight in the head. Now oh, we got a decent ping there. Toughest clone. He died a lot before. God. All right. Give him the step tank. I know you've got it. You know what? We deserve a charge. We're doing it tank. You're going to charge because you can take the damage. All right. Tank is ready. And he's angry. That's right. We got the angriest tank the world has ever seen. Angry at HP? Maybe. Angry at the enemy? Also a maybe. Probably. All right. In three, two, and one. He's charging. Ready to take damage for the bunnies. He wants to get to the rear of that heavy gauss. And we miss. Well, so much for that. We've got... All right, but Negative boy, damage. did we scare the pants off of that guy. Pile driver is ready. Here we go. We've got the strike. Let's not work on that guy. We're going to go ahead and try and ping the same one. Sometimes you got to adjust for kicks. It's straight. Can we do a shape chart? Yep, straight to the head. No I'd threaten your furry behind HB, but I don't want Raven after my behind. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be good. So thank you. <laughs> Thanks for, for not abusing your power. <laughs> All right, we're working... I'll try to be a little kinder. But not to the enemy! Holy crap. Wow, that's terrifying. Cash ends up. Let's go in and hit this. We'll stack everything that we've got. Precise strike. And we're just going to work that open. Uh, straight to the torso. 
shot out. Oh! That's satisfying. I fear Lumina more than I fear Raven. As you should. As you should. Remind me to recheck that there's actually water in Tank's drinking water. You know... I mean, there's always qualifications for everything, right? Here we go. We're walking it around. We're trying to work them. Vigilance, because they do have a heavy gauss. And we'll ping the rear. Oh, that's what we like to see. 20 down to 12. All it's going to take is Pirate Knight to get the splash on the bar guest. This has been a very, very, very clean run. So far, only one bunny has gone down, and he's still alive. Heck yes! That's what we're talking about! All we got left is one void and a giant bar guest with a 125 potential straight to Tank Hare's oh, face. But you know what? Tank is totally safe. He's strong with the force. Uh, we're going to just walk it on up, get a nice clean shot to this side with our D-back 20s. Don't worry about the recoil penalties and the fact we're shooting it again. See? Nothing to worry about. Beautiful. They all went into the bar guest. None of them hit Tank at all. And... Uh, we are sure i'll try and shoot from this side i'm a little scared but that's okay and 37 percent ah tank should be fine yeah that's just a little that's just a few yep still okay still okay he's fine he's fine yep he is still he has armor on that side he still has armor on that side that's good we'll get our helipolis should we shoot a high explosive right next to tank tank can take it Still took it. He still took it, as I knew he it. would. I hope accuracy is due to high-proof water. Very Thanks expensive to get prescription windows for a battle mech. All right, our awesome is ready. We've got incredibly damaging triple improved binary lasers. We're amping up the damage even more. And we're going to take those shots. Ooh, 43%. That's looking pretty bad, but we'll take it. Oh! Not worried. Heck yes. All right. High five. We did it again. Absolutely fantastic result. Good job, Tank. All targets eliminated. Sit tight. I can collect you from your right now. All right. Total win. Total win. Complete strategic victory. Will the Bunny League suffer any pilot losses? That is a resounding no. Congratulations to those who had the faith. So now we've completed everything that we wanted to accomplish. We are now at a point where we can get another one. The Cunningham 2019, welcome more officially to the Bunny League. It's very good to have you with us. Thanks so much for joining us. We've just cleaned the house. So now we can celebrate by shopping. That's right. We can shop to our heart's content. Everything's good. 43% meaning insta-kill. Heck yes. Going to bring it on over. We'll see what we got. It seems like we can loot because they do mention salvage. I'm hoping we can loot or maybe we can't. All right. Cross your fingers. So we did get Santa sled. It's a Goliath and we got chocolate coins. <laughs> what? Wait, wait. Oh, it's one million sea bills. This item provides one million bonus sea bills to the company upon being acquired. It serves no other purpose. Commandant Kringle congratulates you on your victory. Ho, ho, ho. To celebrate, here's a sack of chocolate coins for you to pass out when bonus time comes around for your crew. Wink, wink. <laughs> what? Oh, they're not actually chocolate coins. I can't wink. I don't even know why I try. All right, we got an 80-ton Goliath, a rare sight on the field. Santa's sled is only given out by Kringle's killers, the good little mercs and their companies, armed with a snowball cannon, also called a PPC, and an array of festive red and green lasers. Kringle makes sure his sled brings a holiday cheer to one and all. But mostly it's owner, after all, what's more festive than hard currency? <laughs> oh, heck yes, let's go. And we got free repairs. This is amazing. Or you can spend them in the store. Heck yes, Kurgosh, we thought we're talking about. Chocolate coins. I love the writing for Bloody Dove's team. You would have get your losses replaced, and I don't have to spend all night repairing. Ain't that a thing? Let's go in and take a look at what we got. This is amazing. We're able to get ourselves Bloody Dove's King Crab right here. We're able to get ourselves the beautiful Goliath. Santa sled. Oh, it's so. It's so colorful. <laughs> Wait, can we can we do different? That's uh, nope. That's its color scheme. It is 
vibrant. That's what it is. It's super vibrant. Take a look at this thing. Wow. Hello, AT, AT Walker. Are these exposed cables? This looks like a shot trap. Oh no, it's just paint. Who painted this? Was this finger painted by Yang? Okay, let's... Okay. So we got our PBC. We've got five ER medium lasers. We got the Goliath Torso Turret. Plus two accuracy with range weapon in the location. And you can shoot in 360 degrees. Amiel! Oh! It doesn't have the missile hard points. We can't build the original Amiel. Here's the thing, though. I think we've got jump jets for this, right? We totally do. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. Oh, no, I'm in the right place. I think. Oh, here we go. I'm not even thinking. Improved jump jets. We have four. Four slots here. It's the energy-based model. Drop the small pulses for more armor. Oh, wow. We've got pulses on the legs. That's awesome. Can we just have an AMS machine? Can this just be AMS? <laughs> Can this just just AMS? How many... Can we improve jump jet so these aren't the quad jump jets so i'm gonna do zero okay so we'll do zero days first let's do zero days you can put oh, ams on each torso that's yeah, awesome done, let's go to the store because here's the thing in the store if you go all the way down i think i see them all the time here they are look at this quad front leg jump jet this is great holy crap so okay we kind of gotta buy them bunnies let's be real we have to buy them new equipment <laughs> Oh, man. Half weight mod. Oh, this is amazing. HB, that's a jump jet for a heavy mech. Is it really? Oh, is this a... No, it's 80 tons. It's an assault, right? Let's take a look. Here we are. Oh, what? It's a quad, though. Now need rear a rear assault jump jets. Oh, oh, really? I'm surprised. Why would it... It lets us put... This is a heavy? Wait, is this not 80 tons? I thought 80 tons is an assault. Okay, time to get some sleep. See you next time, bunnies. Zverk out. That's thanks so much for swinging on by. I hope you have a great rest, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one, man. Have a good one. 80 is assault, but it's letting us use heavies. Heavy jump jets work up to 85. Oh, that's news to me. Well, you know what? Let's try it how it is, and then we'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm really curious. I mean, we can do... I guess we can do, like, a clan XL or something. Obviously, it's, it's a little too full at the moment. If we were to move these off to the side, then we wouldn't be able to do the jump jet thing, but uh, we could maybe pop these in, do a clan XL, see how that works. There we go. Keep these back inside like so. Now we get a lot more tonnage. That's kind of crazy. Um, obviously, we could do the small pulses again. That is a thing. Heat efficiency is looking very, very solid, uh, but we can do the jumps. Jump jets can go in the torso. Oh, the quad front leg. So I'm guessing that means I need the quad heavy jump jets for this assault. So if I do this, I get these two. Will they magically show up? Pump the core to 400 if you have it. Okay. Okay, so what are we going to do here? So uh, we're already maxed armor. That's great. I did want to pull these two down just to make a little room for now. There we go. Engine XL. Fantastic. And then we were going to use the core. There we go. Oh my god. That's uh... <laughs> I guess we could pull these off, but then we have no room for anything else. I mean, PPCs. Let's, let's revert. We're going to revert that. Plus two right there. That's fine. Let's take a look at the jump jets, though. Yep. Heavies. So these go on the legs. Oh! Oh, holy crap, they only take up one slot. That is incredible. I don't think we can mix these, right? Oh, we can? I always thought that you can't mix the improved ones with the non-improved ones. Like, if I were to do this, I go... Improved jump jets cannot be used with standard jump... Okay, so they're not standard. But this is improved. Holy crap, wow. So, if we had more quad front leg jump jets, we could fit even more. How far can it jump? Jump five? This can jump like seven? I think we've got a new DFA machine. Holy crap. 320 engine core should suffice. It's not bad. That's crazy. Because we can fit two more quad front leg. We just need to, we just need more. That's incredible. And how heavy are these again? One ton? Okay, so we just need one ton. That was my nickname as a kid. Uh, <laughs> 
Okay, so let's get something into the head. Uh, guarding ECM, that's always helpful for now. Uh, let's see, improved jump jet. I mean, I guess I could just do regular jump jets for now. No. 400 is as fast as a Timberwolf. That's terrifying. You can put four jump jets on it. No, it's true. But see, if you pull this off, then it only allows you to get uh, two more. Do you see what I mean? It's we get the ability to go to capacity six when we've got the improved jump jets. So I guess, yeah, we, it would have to be the quad front legs in order to make it happen. Yeah, that's amazing. That is amazing. Plus 10% walking distance as well. Plus 10% sprinting multiplier. Interesting. I'm guessing it's because it's a sled or because it's a quad. Quad mech gyro. Kicks do plus 20 more damage. Can you imagine kicking? It's kicking with all four legs. That'd be so odd. Kick attacks have plus one accuracy. 80 stability. Th wow. That's actually kind of impressive. Uh, that's awesome. I dig it. Heat negator. Don't really need it. Heat efficiency. We're looking pretty darn solid. If we jump though, <laughs> we're going to generate a lot of heat. Well, it's going to be another 10. That's not too bad. Actually, that's not bad at all. I mean, well, let's see. Let's see what we can improve, though. I mean, is there any swaps that we can do just outright? I mean, having we can shoot in any direction. Clan ERPPC would be amazing. There we go. So now we need the, the heat sinking. Uh, gamma cannons are the long range. 13 tons. Oh, my God. Take a look at the compact quad gyro. I don't think we can swap this out though. It's fixed. Yeah, use the gamma. They're 13 tons each. They're 13 tons. Yes, gamma cannon. Really? So what does it do? It does 80 points of damage. Target is slowed by 20%. That's it. We have the weight. Okay. <laughs> so I'm guessing I'll pull these. I mean, we... Aren't I getting rid of a lot, though? If I go... Oh, my God. Holy crap. <laughs> it's so big. No, in place of the ER PPC. I mean, where are we going to put all the cooling? There's no room. I mean, I guess we could... Uh, I mean, we could do an exchanger. Yeah, we could. We need an exchanger at that point. We'll stick him in the head. 0.125. <laughs> This seems a little ludicrous. Should... Okay. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Jeez. Increase the e-cooling. We can't. The e-cooling's maxed out. Isn't it? See? Plus two heatsink capacity, and this is plus two already. Heat efficiency is looking at... Uh, oh, my! 108.47. Okay. Yeah, that's... Uh, we, we can definitely go better. Do you have a 325 core? I mean... Probably... You want you want to take up more punish? We've got 320 right now, yeah. You can if you upgrade the engine to 325 core. I don't have a 325, so I have a 300. I could downgrade it. That'll give us more room. And we can still jump for five hexes. So that's something. It buys us a little more. We can at least include some of those ER mediums back or all of them. All right, that's decent. What's, <laughs> this is such a lopsided... It's 205 points. All right, we'll do it. 2.4 million. Sure. Oh, boy. 325 core is the hump. It allows the plus three. Got it. Got it. Okay, well, this is going to be interesting. I have no idea what to expect. Uh, let's go. We'll head on over to the most important place in the inner sphere we're just going to swing on by before we go back to the sanctuary alliance we'll stop by merchants rest <laughs> hopefully we'll have money by the time we get there here's the question the real question is can we okay consider this a goliath with quad front leg mods so that you have like plus 300 <laughs> percent DFA damage. Wouldn't that be something? All right, let's go and take a look at the store. Here we are. We're in the right place at the right time. We'll go over to the store and see what we've got. Achilles. We got a fox hammer head, a howler, a J20. All right, we got a no <laughs> rifleman, salamander battle armor, sorcerer, Irby, vapor eagle, warhammer two seat. Gosh, those, those all sound awesome. Inferno SRMs. That's awesome for battle armor. We've got clan lrm 10 i mean heck i will i'll take that for sure uh, we got a narco launcher the prototype ac equaling plus three speak of the devil we got the 
Clan Ferrofibrous Gyro Melee. The way Tank was swinging last time, we might need it. Hard Gel, Infinite, Jump Jets, Clan Mask, Heavy Laser Turret, Airdrop, PPC Capacitor. Wow, there isn't much today. It's almost like... Tank, did you warn them? <laughs> did you warn them, Tank? <laughs> wow, they have... You know what? That's incredible restraint. Let's go to Sanctuary Alliance and do one last mission. All right. That's what we're talking about. Uh, so obviously, <laughs> golly, we got one called four and a half. You know, four and a half is not too bad. We got a high gravity planet recently colonized. Well, it won't be colonized for long. That's all I got to say. Token population. Well, this token population because we're going to be there. Token population. Wow, there's a token population in all these hallucinatory vegetation. That is where we're going. We are heading over to that hallucinatory vegetation. It's our favorite tag. All right, cross your fingers. I don't know if we'll actually have a mission to engage in. And we are broke. Nope, nope, we're fine. We're going to visit the store first. <laughs> we still have, what, 24? Okay, there's nothing here. Command center, what do we got? Cross your fingers, cross your fingers. Give us a mission. We've got a mission! The gauntlet, oh god. Make us that. We need something that'll fit in the 24 minutes. Not something that'll take hours. Defend base, assassination, five skull. Ooh. <laughs> I don't think this is... You know what? Why not? Is this a fast one? Probably not. Well, let's just make sure we got points because we're going to need them. Training confirmed, Commander. Oh, uh, let's see. We've got... There we go. Extra health. I don't think there's any short one here. Commander? Mech warrior training complete. And lastly, okay, okay. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. I mean, 25 minutes of selling parts. We're going to go in and hopefully not die. Uh, we'll save and we'll just be super aggressive, okay? So we're going to save, be super aggressive. Doesn't go so well. We'll we'll just end the stream there and <laughs> come back beforehand. So here we go. We're saving beforehand. It'll be super aggressive. Try and do what we can in 23 minutes. How about that? So we better get in there while we've got that opportunity. We're going to go mad scientist, five skull assassination, three pick 15 against a sanctuary alliance. Uh, what do we got here? We got, I would like the tur uh, Turkina. Should we get the Turkina in 860? Can we do it? 875. We got a Turkina. I love how it looks so jaunty, like it's dancing. Uh, we got the awesome. Oh, that's right. We got Santa sled. Uh, oof. D-back, Albatross. Let's, let's get the sled. We'll get the sled in there. There we go. And then we can also bring our LRM carrier. We'll get Amiel in that. 900, huh? So we got to bring one down. I mean, I guess it would be nice to have... Do we have the avatar? Turkina, Dante, Bunny. What if we drop this down? Where's our avatar? There we go. That's what we're talking about. And we're at 895. That's looking flawless. And last but not least, we can... You know what? I'll just stick with that. Five Skull Assassination in the Badlands. Commander, we got a serious problem. A world of research and engineering team has managed to produce something dangerous. A, su a super heavy... Wait, it's a su it says a su do they ha do they have soup? It's a super heavy. So maybe we'll go a little long because <laughs> it's a Matar. If it's a Matar, we'll let it be. At least here's the thing. OK. We'll play it by ear. We'll play it by ear. That's what we're going to do. Boss, you got to bring back as much of this thing as possible. Super heavy mech, you got to let me see it. At least in the next 13 minutes. Do you have anything helpful to offer, Yang? Not really. Other than likely to be an extremely well-armed and armored mech. So be careful. And Tank was right. It is a Matar. Noted. Bunnies, remember we're expecting a very heavy escort. So it might be wiser to hit the target and run for the LZ here. Good luck and good hunting. All right, bunnies. So it does look like it's a Matar. It's right here. It's 110 tons. There it is. Tank for your own sanity. Do not look up Monster Lamb Omni. Oh my. We've got we've got green. Bunnies, we have green. We've got green. Oh, a Roshnu. What is this? Holy crap. Holy crap. Is this a Sanctuary Alliance Assault 90 tons? The Roshnu. Wow. This You know what this looks like? This seriously looks like the Crusader from Diablo 3. Or, or fancy paladin pauldrons 
or something. Holy crap, that's a lot of VRMs. Looks like a Templar. It does. You really want that Roshnu dead fast. Well, okay. <laughs> Let's go in and airlift somebody into him. There's, there's our Turkina. What if we pop the hope and a dream into him? Go and get that. Uh, we got blue. Blue on airlift. We got our avatar close range. We got a Helepolis. We got the pile driver. Axe a question. The king crab. We got our LRM carrier. We got our Turkina. Uh, let's get the... Let's get the Turkina. Let's do it. Melee. I know. Seriously. If they'll let us. It's moving at initiative three. We should have the time. The Oswars turning it around and getting the pings. Holy crap. Wow. We're going to take a lot of hits here. Doesn't melee remove evasion? It does. It does. We're just starting all up in their business. Yes, we are. Off. We like it. What do we got out here? We got something big. It looks like another Helepolis or two. We got a Helepolis 5B all bombarded in a Scirocco. Haven't had a Scirocco yet. We got two of them. Holy crap. I hear the Scirocco's are amazing. Wow. That is an awesome paint scheme. That is awesome. I actually legit, I, I really like that. Are they both the same? So this one, wow. Oh my gosh. The graphics in this game are so freaking good. Wait, okay, so we got our hope and a dream. Do we have the shot? We do. It's going to be hard to hit. I'm looking for someone who can melee. We got hope and a dream, LRM carrier, LRM carrier. Let's, let's hold if we can. We want to be able to get, ideally, oh boy. Is he going to fire? Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh. Well, I'm glad that we're ending this in 13 minutes. <laughs> Holy crap! That is not good. Uh, this is fine. Sure it is. LRM carrier, hope and a dream. I mean, I don't want to take the shot yet. I mean, I guess we'll start locking him, but let's let's hold. I mean, there's not much that we can do here. I probably shouldn't have picked this up right away. Oh, and the next Helepolis, he's also got the Shirako. Oh boy. Oh, that's terrifying. Rear attack ignores all armor. Oh, we're going down. We're going down. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Nine. We have nine armor. Wow. Well, it uh, fired. Shouldn't have evasion fine. now. No, but the Roshnu has evasion. It's off. got eight evasion. Antonides, Santa oh, Sled. We can hop. Oh, yes, we can hop. Oh, that is amazing. Warning. Okay, so reserve. The next one, he gets to move. So we're going to have to use someone else. We got Serve Cold. We got Cashin in the Avatar. I mean, I guess the Avatar can get in there and ping him in the butt. And give him a nice kick, I guess. All right, we'll do it. We'll kick the guy. Targeting for physical attack. Goodbye, evasion. And stack the rear. What do we got? All right. Not bad. That was great. Target's taking a critical hit. That is amazing. Over the red line. Okay, so that means that we can actually get HB here. HB's got a shot. We got the hope and the dream. We got the sight. Let's go in and pop him. Soften this guy up. Wow, he's got decent armor for a missile boat, yeah? All right, here we go. Indirect. Advancing. And send it. 96%. Egg yes! There it is. Beautiful. That was terrifying. 60 straight to the... Three salvageable parts! Oh my gosh. Man. Why are we ending the mission so early? <laughs> okay, what can we do here? Okay, we got 82. We're going to come in with a shape charge and try and pop this guy. Firing all weapons. Oh! Maybe faster than I thought. All right. Heck, holy crap. That's lethal damage. That's incredible. Well, it, I can hear Gramps in that mech now complaining about being woken up. Yep, yep. He, he, he was complaining. He's not complaining anymore. He's just flabbergasted. I used an old man term right there. See, these guys got one evasion. Uh, let's go in and ping the guy. We got our gamma cannon shooting for the very first time. Oh, that's not too bad. Yes, All right, what do we got here? We got the Axe of Question. Oh, hello. There's a little guy down here. I mean, I kind of... Okay, so we got Wily, Pile Driver. Let's go in and try and ping this guy. We do have the high ground. We'll come in with a shaped charge. Good ping in the front. 46. Come on, hit that. Hit that middle. Hit that middle. Hit that middle. 43. Got another one there. Okay, beautiful. Well, this is looking really, really good. We're Turkina on hold. Oh, we got Data King. Data King and the King Crab. Uh, we'll walk away from the fire. And we got the shots. Full send. Copy that. 
And goodbye, Helepolis. Oh my god, seriously? I think this mission will go to completion. Imagine a safe feeling pilot with a round landing straight into their lap. I don't think they'd even notice that it round landed in their lap. All right, so they can obviously see us, which means the Super Heavy can see us, which might mean some of our bunnies will go down. Uh, so we'll just drop. I mean, I guess we'll drop the clan. Oh, no, we'll drop just those. We'll go. Ping away, ping away. So that helps, but it's not enough. Let's see what the Super Heavy does, because it's its turn. Oh, boy. Yep, 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 yep. Pop, pop, and laser. So two Gauss, some laser. Definitely, I don't think it's a heavy Gauss rifle, because otherwise it wouldn't have that kind of range, right? So we're just coming around. Here we go. We're coming in around. On my way. There we go. And we're going to go in and try and lock the big one. What do we got out here? A Sam RS. Is this like Sam's club for <laughs> for the inner sphere? Double Gauss. Okay, so double Gauss, double large pulse, an ER large laser, and a medium pulse. A noble. Oh, wow, okay. Well, let's go ahead and get rid of... If this is seriously the last of the Sanctuary Alliance guys, that's amazing. So we're moving forward. Here we go. I do not want to lose the VTOL. Okay, we'll... we'll, we'll <laughs> We'll try our best not to lose the VTOL. Let's go ahead and target paint the Oswar. What's he going to do? He's going to melee against the melee specialist. Swing to the arm. Already tickled tank. Tank does have hard gel, you know. Yep. This is not going to go the way that the Oswar thinks. All right, fair enough. Electronically impaired. Well, I mean, it might stop us from swinging. Oh, man. HB. Uh, let's go ahead and lock up. I mean, I guess... I guess we'll just keep locking up the same. A challenge. Yeah, it's his version of the Bachal, right? Amiel, 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 Amiel. Let's go ahead and hold. We're going to hold all the way down to two right before the Matar goes. There we go. So that means tank can actually answer that Bachal. Uh, we're coming on over to the side with a physical weapon strike to say hello. Let's see what we got. Ask that mech a question. All right, we got a ping on the arm. Beautiful. He's got 20 structure left. It cleaves through into the torso and guns. Eyes all opened up, which means if we go in and follow up with Amiel and all of the missiles, we should be able to pop that side clean off. A full 60. Stack that. There we go. Beautiful. Half the body gone. Completely unsteady. Uh, what do we got here? We got Santa sled. We're going to get on in. And let's go in and give him the business. That was a lot of lasers. Terrifying. 205. Got 67 now. Got a pile driver. Got a Lepolis. Got the King Crab. The Turkina. The Avatar. Avatar is going to pull back a little bit. And let's go in and finish the job. Uh, we can switch on over to close. Low damage. But it should be enough. Heck yes. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. Pro tip in Yosemite Valley is the wilderness office. Get there a very early 1A. Oh, I was there. I was there the night before. So bring a sleeping bag, sleep by the door next to someone. That is the line. Wilderness opens. They tell you all the maintain line. They open the office reservation system. Yeah, I I experienced that firsthand for sure. No, that you're absolutely right. You need to do it. Like if you want to get a, a permit, if you, if you didn't win the lottery, like, yeah, you have to do that. You don't. You really don't have a choice. And then everyone's just... It's such an unnerving thing to set aside, like, weeks of time at work. And then find yourself, like, dependent upon whether you'll roll correctly or not to get through Donahue Pass. Commander. Oh, here we go. Intensify firepower. We've got the business. We'll give him a little shape charge. Hello. We're pinging that same side over and over, yeah? They won't let you have half dome cables out of the pass. Hmm. Very, very true. You are very, very right. All right. Let's go ahead and key this up. And let's send it. Half the body gone. Well, we're not getting three parts of it, but we can at least start the process, right? We'll go Battlelord. We got the high ground for sure because we're in the air. And uh, let's... I guess we'll send half of it. We'll be able to knock him to the ground. And what's he got? He's trying to retreat. Wow, this is the fastest. This is a lot faster than I was thinking. 
This is crazy. All right, forward, forward, forward. Wow, we're actually going to finish this. I didn't expect that. Is he retreating backwards? Like he's he's backing up? That's incredible. Wow, I can't believe we're actually getting to fight a super heavy. This is this is like a, a jam-packed, assault-packed uh, stream. Anyway, my sad story is I did all this, got altitude sickness at the half. Oh, walk back oh, down with two minutes before we just have to abort and try to. You know what? I I I've attempted the JMT twice, and uh, you know I've I've had to back out. You know, we we uh, I remember we went in like for a few days the first time, overestimated, and then just we had to back out. And we had set us we sent ahead all of our supply packages. We got our permit, all that stuff, and it was crazy. So very sad. So you're not alone, buddy. You're not alone. And there it is. Holy crap, we did it. All targets eliminated. Sit tight. I can collect your finger right now. All right, so successful. that's awesome. Total win, total win. I didn't even have a bet. I didn't think we'd finish it. We beat it with one minute to spare. That's incredible. That's nuts, yeah? Down to the wire. Yeah, no kidding. Holy crap. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and flip it on over. I think we've got 315 on this one, right? No bunnies lost. That's amazing. We got super lucky. A lot of Helepolis will grab the Matar part. Oh, you know what? Nope. I'm grabbing the Roshnu. Three, hope we get the Matar part. Three, two, one. Helepolis, Oswar. We got the Matar part. We got a full Roshnu. <laughs> and we got double Shirako. Holy crap. So I have never used a Shirako, but I've heard so many things about the Shirako. I don't even know what it does. The Sanctuary Worlds developed a need for mech-mounted artillery early in their development. However, they ran into severe issues when attempting to duplicate tube artillery for mechs, though these issues would eventually be conquered. Instead, Sanctuary engineers turned to missile-based systems and developed this, the Shirako. The Shirako fires a barrage of four explosive area of effect missiles at the target, saturating it in overlapping explosions. The Shiraco also is able to deploy a small variety of variant munitions. Artillery, no fire and melee, 15 times 4 deals massive damage at extreme range, 1750 meters. The weapon does not fire in melee, cannot be intercepted by AMS, has a recoil of 2, and can scatter a little bit. Holy crap, wow, we lucked out. And look at all the double heat sinks, that's insane. That's crazy. Your lance has terrifying firepower. It does now, yeah. It's their version of the arrow, times 4, it's like a Merv. I was totally fit and trained in everything. I planned everything out, had a bear canister and everything. Altitude sickness is no joke. I've heard about um, going up Whitney. So I've heard a lot of stories about people who train and train and train and, and going up to up Mount Whitney was was rough. Like it, it, it floored them. But fortunately, if you do it the other way around, like you're going south, then you arrive at Whitney instead of starting at Whitney. And so you by then you're hopefully conditioned because you're doing elevation uh, changes. Well, that's incredible. I kind of want to put together the Roshnu just to piece it together and see it in our bay. Here we go. Let's get that in. It'll be the last thing we do. Take a look at it up close and personal in Mech Bay 2. It's going to be our parting site there. Oh my gosh, look at the geometric shapes. Yeah. And we can actually change the look, the feel. Got different patterns here. Oh, look, super green, super green on the back line. I kind of like this one with the black. Let's go in and on refit and we'll take a look what we got here. All the VRMs, that's an incredible amount of VRMs. The Roshnu long range targeting, plus one accuracy to weapons fire at long range, plus two at extreme range. It's purpose built for the VRMs. That is nuts. Holy crap. This is designed to fulfill the role of heavy siege. The Roshnu quickly gained a dark reputation on Sanctuary World battlefields for destroying enemies without even ever seeing them. The Roshnu is a pure bombardment variant, sacrificing durability with an XL engine and close range defense to bring incredible range to firepower to bear instead. With four VRM 18s, the Roshnu is more than capable of smashing anything to pieces without ever encountering any return fire. If enemies do manage to close the distance, only a paltry two twin link small lasers offer token defense. That is terrifying. And last but not least, Vision 2. Look at that thing. That is crazy. It's basically a giant dual linked 
Pez dispenser. <laughs> oh, well, bunnies, thank you so much for all your help today. We did incredibly well. Um, went much smoother than I had anticipated. And we actually fought and conquered super heavy. That's so crazy. So, wow, super, super excited to get back into Sanctuary Alliance territory again. And we're actually going to get to see more, I'm, I'm hoping more super heavies, and hopefully the biggest the Sanctuary Alliance has to offer. So super excited about that. Anyway, the next time we'll be streaming next Thursday at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, same bun time, same bun channel. We'll be back again with Battletech Advance 3062 and pick up right where we left off because it seems like we're in a really good place right now. So overall, I hope you'll be excited to check it out as well. Anyway, if you'd like to hang on until the end of the music, we'll go and give someone a nice raid. I had a total blast. I hope you did as well, and I can't wait to get into the next one. Have a good night, buddies.